All right, it's time. Another week. BTGD Radio. This is episode 807. August 12th. 2024. On the show this week, we have Anthony. Hello. Good turns. What's up, niggas? <laughs> Vote. <laughs> <laughs> we got to walk. Exactly. <laughs> I can't. I can't follow that. No, no you no. cannot. You were high. Oh no! Oh, hold on now. We just Ken. You have to cut out what Ryan says. Don't cut it out. Go ahead, Ryan. <laughs> I can't. I can't follow that. <laughs> well, oh. you... Yeah, you know, you could just apo- you could just apologize on. on like a like a TikTok in like six months, and you'd be fine. Listen, guys, absolutely one hundred percent not. Uh... Gotta go. Ni- <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is not starting off well. What what is happening? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I'll move on oh. to video games. Oh shit! I didn't load. I didn't load that. That uh, I needed the wombat sound clip. Oh god damn it! Oh, show. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, that we're was, gonna have oh, to restart what? the episode. All right. I'm not. Uh, there's loading plenty of shit. reasons we should restart the episode. <laughs> oh goodness. Anyway, I love okay. this show. That's not true. That is not true. No, oh, I do. I love it. Oh, anyway. All right. When you actually are getting, like, wood and stuff, like, you can come off the ship. Oh, that's just trying right. to make him say that's you why hate, I hate it. it. Yeah, that, that's why I hate it. I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, this is, I just wanted to remind you. How do you feed blood hmm. to Grandpa? And then there's that. You're not supposed to leave Game Pass. You probably have it in the news. Oh, oh so oh. no one's going to play it. Cool. I yeah, thought basically... So. What you were talking about, Anthony's clip? I was like, that shit's on Game Pass, man. That's totally worth it. Then. <laughs> Anthony, get that Game Pass money. Yeah, Phil called him up. He's like, we need this quote on Game Pass. I asked him to get it made on a T-shirt that he could wear on stage. <laughs> You'll have it on for Gamescom because they're gonna be out there. Wait, are they doing a show? Oh, uh, night live. I know they're going to be there. Opening night live, and then I guess they're doing streams like the day after. But I don't know if there's like a Bill's mm. on stage talking about we love where Call of Duty is. I got you. <laughs> it probably won't be. Well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue. Gamescom is a good place to announce all the games that have skipped your platform because nobody gives a shit. Man, I hope they come out and announce like, hey. We fixed the stuff with Capcom, but guess what, guys? We got y'all for that Capcom fight collection. No, it's, it's, it's see, we're going to talk about this in new releases, but, like, every game that skips Xbox, by the time it gets there, nobody gives a shit. Like, by the time Black Myth Wukong hits Xbox, ain't nobody going to care. That is what, that is what happens. Yes. Yeah, um, that's self-inflicted that wounds. release. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Like, we joke about the rake thing, but god damn, it's true. Every fucking week. Mm-hmm. But anyway, let's talk about video games. Anthony, I know you have a game. Yeah. Um. He got some games. He, he got, got a game. Uh, Earth Defense Force Six. I have only ever I have only played two episodes because last night as I was playing it, the download wasn't complete, even though I'd been sitting there all day. Boy, I love <laughs> these old consoles. Man, you really uh, want to do it. Go back. I, I set my PS3 on yesterday to download Metal Gear Solid because I just swapped out the hard, hard drive. Dude, I had to leave that thing on all day. Oh, dude, it was it was multiple. Jeez. When I did that, when I went through, because I did that before when they were like, worth shutting it down. I went, yes, I'm going to make sure I have everything. So I went through and did that. That was like three or four days of the PS3 just being on. Dude, this was just one game. Oh, Metal Gear Solid Four. Yeah, it's 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 far worse. But it, it, I did that. Well, wait, did you download it or mm-hmm. did you? No, I downloaded disc? it. Like I have a digital yeah, copy I of in, it. I installed from disk. It doesn't make a difference. It's still fucking long. And it's twenty-seven gigabytes, I think, for Metal Gear Solid Four. It took all day. Well, I downloaded. I want you to know this. 
I doubt because I've been filling out my my uh, external hard drive on my Xbox. I downloaded eighty four games on my Xbox in that time span. Oh, like, yeah. Anyways, so <laughs> I only got to play two missions. I mean, this is at least this one. It seems like it's a direct follow up to EDF five, but like. <sighs> In September, World Brothers comes out. World Brothers 2. I I just... I don't know what this company's goal is with this franchise at this point. Other than getting, like, a 7 at best. (laughs) Yeah, that's, uh, like, 7. 7's, like, the high bar. It's it's exactly what you think it is. Alright, we're done. Uh, uh, You know what I mean? Like, there's some changes here that uh, are definitely weird, like the fact that there's... I mean, it feels like PS2 era, where, like, follow a guide somewhere, and you're following them through tight corridors. And that's not really something that you really see a lot of in um, Earth Defense Force. Like, even when you're in cave systems shooting ants in previous games... um, the the corridors aren't like super tight. Like this was like a corridor that I could see being in a military base. Um and then you go outside and shoot some ants. Wow, uh, actually don't shoot ants, you shoot some frogs. And like that's the other thing that's changed too. Like I said shoot some ants, because that's generally what you go up against um early on in Earth Defense Force, because they really you can kill them before they get to you. Um, but in this one, they start you off shooting against frogs, which shoot back um, and are one of the more difficult enemies to kill because they have their limbs blown off, but still fight. Um, but yeah, it's Earth Defense Force. But I'm going to really say it plays hey, it plays like what you expect it to play like. And, and the changes aren't drastic enough to make you go, this is the one you should play. It's just like if it's kind of like if you're going to get into sports games uh which one should i start with the newest one yeah you know like arguably it's going to run better um although i've heard there's some pc problems with this one but like it's going to run better um and that's kind of it like you know there's going to be small changes to make it run better on the technical side but like it's optimized more um I don't know. It, it, it's kind of like how I felt every time I've gone back to Earth Defense Force. Like, yeah, the best you can get is a seven because you're not trying to achieve anything more. Like the the people that made uh, Earth Defense Force, I think it's the same people that still make this one because I don't think it's uh, Ukes um, BDF six. I think it's Sandlot. Yeah, it's Sandlot, and like. <clears throat> Sandlot also made um, Robotic Alchemic Drive and um, some of the other simple 2000 series like where we're clearly using other aspects of Earth Defense Force um, models and stuff. Like there's one where you fight a giant woman and stuff. And I, I don't know. They need to go back to sort of aping off of the old science fiction movies. I think, because that was where a lot of the character came from. Um, yeah, I mean, wow, there's only 25 employees at Sandlot, and it shows. That's all I'm going to say. It shows they're getting better, but again, it's just, it's another EDF, and I just don't know how I sell that to you other than, like, do you want more chaotic hell divers? I mean, it's kind of that. I mean, but it, it's it feels like a budget title, but it's $60. And that's the other problem, too. Like, I know we just lost um, uh, the... I, I, hold on. Maybe you can still buy it. Hold on. Hold on now. Are you talking Real about the, the 360 games? Yes. Anything that's backwards compatible, you can still it buy. It is. So, yeah. So, for $15 on Xbox, Earth Defense Force 2017, go buy that. Because this... Honestly, I think that is the game where the style peaked. It had this... The main character looks like a Japanese superhero, a la, you know, the the soldiers you'd see in a Kamen Rider episode or Ultraman. He's kind of got that weird color going on. Um, there's no class oh, system. Ultraman. Sorry. Ultraman. And, and, oh my god, Jesus. I played oh, that Smash I also game. Love, 
I also loved Ultraman. Yeah, right on. But you know that that old like how they would have like other people dressed in like military gear. Yeah, yeah that's kind yeah. of what these characters look like before they started going like a little bit more modern soldier looking, um, which is kind of the new designs where they kind of almost like some of the characters look like they're in mech suits. But I don't know. There's just something down to earth about 2017, and you start off by fighting ants. But the robots look like they're out of like fifties science fiction films. Um, the spaceship, like everything, looks chrome. Like all the aliens look chrome and stuff. But it's fi- it's also fifteen dollars and not sixty. Sixty feels and, like a lot for this game. And and that's just it. Like I, I, this has been my problem, and this is the reason why, I, like I said, I would just I would review it because I've reviewed the last couple EDF games for the site and it's like it's more edf i can't i can't knock it because i kind of expect it going in and they don't generally break it either they don't break the fundamentals of edf but at the end of the day it's still edf and it's very hard to get excited about that and they're not doing enough with the plot to make it as interesting as it could be um yeah, I mean, like, I, I know that sounds pretty negative for somebody who only played two stages, but it's like I kind of know what I'm getting into. There was a reason why Iron Rain surprised me, and that's because, like, hey, there's cars on the street. You can just jump into the car and drive it, which is not something that was very common in any of the other EDF games. Um, World Brothers, like, smaller levels, okay, but everything's super destructible because it's all voxels or whatever. Um yeah, and and again, they're going to cannibalize their own franchise because they're putting out another game in September, World Brothers Two, and it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, oh, let's see, what else have I played? Um, Every time you said World Brothers, uh, I just instantly thought of that Rick and Morty sketch. Yeah, two, two brothers. Two brothers. Yes, yeah. I'm like two brothers. And the, the two old ladies come and some. <laughs> Oh man. Um yeah, and so that's kind of my thoughts on uh that I did download the new versions of Doom, but I didn't play them yet. <laughs> uh, I know I I know they're night dive. Like I was so irritated last night when I found out I couldn't play more Defense Force and I'm like I'm just going to bed. <laughs> um I do have however though. Uh it, it it's a saga that's now ended. Um and I haven't played the game yet because, of course, I haven't because I I paid for it back in 2016. Um, I received my physical reward for backing the System Shock remake. <laughs> 2016. I lived in another house when I made that. Eight years. Yes. Eight. And I have the physical box with me. It is quite large. Um, it is actually extremely nice. Uh, I've not seen a PC video game box this nice in ever um it's got a picture of shodan on the front it's got a lot of um uh how do i put that it's got like glossy marks so like system shock isn't actually printed on the box it's just the gloss that allows you to see it stuff um i'm opening it right now Uh, i've already opened it so to see what's inside got a very nice uh pin of the company uh the trioptimum logo um, I, I have to say, they they did an amazing, amazing job um, making the manual because uh, the it's a giant new employee hand guide. <laughs> it's all black and white. Uh, I do love how it starts off, and this is you know with the the humor that everybody seems to love from uh, um, oh god. Uh, hell divers. Uh, <laughs> this is what's written on the first page. In memory of designated employee number Z, your sacrifice Z, will not be will not be forgotten. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's it's actually got though like maps of areas. It explains to you the rules of the game uh, and the controls and everything. Um, but it does so in a sense that it looks like 
an employee training guide. Um, steel book, who cares? Uh, now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because uh, do you know who made this this box set? Anybody? No, I, I don't know no. a lot of those people. So I had a bit of I had a bit of a worry because the box set was made by Limited Run. That'd have been my guess, but that's because it's the only one I really know besides Super Rare. Right. So I was a little nervous uh, because you know. They don't have a great track record, and I was supposed to have figurines with it um, and everything. I do have a nice, like, art print that's number one, uh, 1981 out of 3,500. Um, there's a big poster or whatever. I I have to give them credit, and this is the reason why I'm doing this on the show, because I've, 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 I've shit on Limited Run before, um, and I want to give them credit where credit is due. There's two pewter figures of, like, mutants from um, System Shock 2, and or System Shock, I should say. And not only are they, like, a really nice metal figurine, the base they stand on has magnets in it. So they don't aren't attached to the stand completely. I don't know if that's a new thing they're doing, but, like... What a what a fucking great way to not have the figure break right off the stand is have them be removable. And then at the bottom it says System Shock and then it has a nice Night Dive Studios logo. I, I, I gotta say, like, if this is the quality that they're working at now, and I know that they've just had a big um fiasco with their 3DO games. Um if this this is the quality they should work towards always. Like this is one of the best collector sets I've ever seen um i have the and it reminds me of it because it's kind of in the same genre i have the prey box set like the original prey for xbox 360 i have the collector's edition of that and it comes with two pewter figurines but they're attached to the base they bend it's like not great they bend as you try to take them out of the little bit of plastic these are nicely boxed and they're wrapped individually so yeah, I just wanted to call that on the show because like I'm impressed with how good everything is because that's one thing when you're backing a Kickstarter, you like it says a bunch of stuff, but that could all change in the interim. So it only I took them eight to years. Them... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so so that's one thing that they they did update um, on. Uh, not that they didn't update about other things, but they did they they didn't start the production of this stuff until a year and a half ago. I think on the physical rewards. That's a little more impressive, but still eight, eight years, eight years though. And I got to say, like, I'm, I'm really happy they came through. I even though I haven't played the fucking game yet. Cause I just haven't had the time to see. I mean, what's the and... point of playing the game? That's the, that's the worst part, right? <sighs> you know, I think, I think part of it is that like, I was a <clears throat> different person when I backed this project. Well, yeah. Eight years so... is a long time ago. It's almost a decade, yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm glad it's out. Uh, I will play it. I have a PS4 copy of it. Um, but yeah, I got the PC version of it too, and maybe my computer will run it. Probably not. But yeah, Better so uh, that's it for me. I just figured I, I I wanted to call that out because like I have given that company shit for the quality of work they do, and I mean this is this is worth the money I spent fucking a decade ago. <laughs> so. I'm just depressed. Oh, and I forgot. It apparently fell into my lap. You got a try optimum patch if you um, put that on a jacket. I don't know who would. Who the fuck puts patches on jackets? This who thing? uses the stickers in the box set, right? Dude, no, I don't fucking stickers. Exactly. Right? Put them on my laptop. Yeah, you also you always end up going. You're one of those people. Monsters. Um, yeah. But that's it for me. Yeah, I just wanted to. Call, anyways, again, I just wanted to call that out because like we talk. I talk a lot of shit. Got to call it out when it's right. So. All right. Well, Terrence, you want to go next? Uh, yes. What the fuck just happened? Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, you caught me in between. Yeah. Taking a <laughs> hit. Um. Okay. So, uh, I played. Uh, I don't know why I'm like sensitive. Right? This this show is rated M for mature. So whatever. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was played... rated I for immature, but. Please go on. <laughs> that probably it's, is true. It's rated, 
It's rated N for nobody's listening to it anyway. I was going to say, it's rated I for incompetence. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, man. Okay, so... um, Talk about some new stuff. Oh, I can't talk about that yet. I can't do that till next week. Um, I can talk about the Crush House. I think I talked about that last week, because that review came out. Uh, or did I talk about no, it? No, the embargo was on Friday, literally the day it came out, so... Okay, cool. Alright, so... um. It is essentially you play as Jay, which is so funny because that's totally the name's dude or the dude's name in this. Um, and you are a cameraman for this reality show. Um, so it's kind of like the real world or uh, Big Brother, stuff like that. So, um, but more than just a cameraman. So it starts off, you pick the cast and you have this list of different characters and, and they have, you know, likes and dislikes and stuff. And obviously the whole thing is you want to you want drama to pop off so you want to pick people that's you know going to be opposite or whatever or maybe you want them to fall in love whatever because i did try that that actually worked too um but you put them together and you know you're you're kind of walked through um the the tutorial bit um and it's it plays out like uh that game me and anthony played content warning where you use that the game was fucking great it was i wish they were that console yeah for real um, they've added a lot to it too. I've seen it's been updated a lot. Well, I just uh, hope it works this time because that's the reason why we stopped playing it. Because right, because we couldn't see the uh, like our footage, and that's like which is... <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, but yeah. So in this, uh, you actually can't see your footage in this, but you you have to appease fans similarly, um, like you had to do in content warning. So you're as the you don't play the the contestants. You only control the cameraman. Um, so you follow them around and, you know, you're, you're filming them. So you want to catch them when they're talking and stuff. And as they're interacting and as you have different things in the shot, you'll get points and attract viewers based on different categories. You'll have like wine moms. So if you have shots that are alcohol or people are drinking or something in there, you're going to get more views from them. You have like these plant I forget what they're called, but the people that like plants. So the more plants is in there, the more, you know, they're going to view in. Um, my favorite is the butt lovers. So the more, uh, and it's like a peach. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't just slide past that. I wasn't going to. I was going to expand. And, I, and it's funny, you can't see me, but I made a whole, like, a large butt with my hands. I'm going to expand on that. I, I didn't um, need to know that part either. I just wanted to. But no, so why, it, it literally. This is why we should do a video podcast. This is why, exactly! I keep man, we should at least one time. I mean, you've seen me fall asleep before. during certain segments. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, Ryan go to sleep on the Overwatch talk. He just, yeah, he gonna 100%. pull out some knitting. No, right. you're just gonna watch him right. walk off camera. Yeah. <laughs> right? this, this, this is my Ryan go pee. This is my pee break. Uh, uh, but yeah, you get points and get viewers for people that like, you know, nice asses. So you got to put ass shots in there. And, you know, so when they're in bikinis and stuff, you know, you can zoom in and different things. And Now can... I understand why Devolver's publishing this. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it, it definitely feels like a Devolver game, too. Um, But so all of that, you know, you're you're filming this reality show. That's that's all of that. But of course, there's a, you know, there's a twist there's there's something not quite right about this going on here, um, and and I won't go too deep into it, but just like a little bit. If you pay attention, you can kind of tell like different signs of stuff. For one, when you start off, when you come in as as Jay, like the path that you're walking, because the producer, like cameraman, whatever person, you stay in this little area. Like, this is where you live when you're not up filming with them, and there's like tons of footprints on these like one particular like showing this path that has been walked like a bunch of times and like the the tutorial like voice that's talking to you um like slips up and says stuff and it 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 almost it, it there's there's cloning involved for sure um but there's there's some other stuff that's there uh but it's 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 really fun um it's it's definitely like I said a devolver game uh, it, the, what I don't like about it is the contestants. So the people that you're filming, there is no voices for them. Like, so it's, everything pops up and it's like just text on screen. So if you're not paying attention, 
you'll miss a lot of like interactions when people are like doing stuff or whatever because you can't actually hear it so you might be filming one thing but then behind you there's a fight going on because like i missed i missed people making out i turn around and there's like hearts and stuff and people is dipped and like oh man i would rather film that like so I, I don't like that. Like, I wish there was some, like, indicator that, you know, that told you that there was better stuff happening. Um, as you play, you earn uh, money by running ads. Whenever you're not actively filming, you're playing ads. And with that money, you can put um, by props around the house, like statues that are, uh, there's like a love statue, where if you catch people in front of it, they're more apt to fall in love. There's a fight statue, which will, you know, can cause fights to happen more. You can do like normal stuff, like you can buy weights um, for them to interact and lift weights. You can buy like a frying pan for people to cook stuff and different stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it's it's pretty fun if you have a, uh, you know, interest in that type of, in this type of game. Like I said, the gameplay is all, you're you're filming, you know, these these people and you have no interaction with what they're doing. Um, but there there is more to it than that. I can one hundred percent confirm that it is pretty pretty interesting. Um the the kind of twist that is that is there. Um but I did review that uh for the site. That's you know, that game is good. I can't talk about that yet. Um I played Speed Freaks, the Warhammer forty thousand game. It's only on PC at the moment. Uh, it's like, I think it's supposed to come to console and stuff. Uh, I, I kind of like it. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's not like rock and roll racing. Cause it, this, you would think this would have racing in it, but it doesn't really have that. It has like domination modes, like from call of duty, but you're in like cars, um, that the orcs drive, uh, in, in the 40 K universe. So it's souped up cars. Like you'll have ones that can throw out, um, uh, Molotov cocktails and other ones that you know have bombs and there's machine guns, so it has that kind of twisted metal appeal, but it controls like an arcade racer. Um, but it's it's pretty interesting. I just I don't like playing stuff like that on PC because I don't I don't like going into and it's weird because I like fiddling when it comes to like um like the emulation shit, but like I don't like having to like with the new games. I don't like having to go with the settings and figure out the perfect setup to make it play. I just want to put it in and it goes. That's why I love my console. I don't have to do that stuff. It just... mm. yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. Whatever. Um, that actually okay. I'm watching good. a video because I, as soon as you say orcs from 40 K, I'm, I'm very interested because the orcs of 40 K are chaos machines. Um, Indeed. I watched an orc. Okay. So you fire a missile from one of them. Mm-hmm. And then another orc guides the missile, but riding it. Yes, that is one of the. I think. That's I mean, this sounds like some shit out of like the PS2 days, where they made like Super Bombard Racing. Very okay, much. You just it, wanted it, to bring up Super Bombard Racing. You goddamn right, crazy. I did. Oh. It, yeah, that game but is it, ass. Yeah, no, this looks cool. Also, I love the cool. orc. It's not high octane; it's high orctane. Yep. You you have yep. literally forgotten. How many cart racers were like? There's cart racers you don't even remember existed. Oh no, this oh, I is uh, I know. There's a NASCAR one. There's M and M's. Dude, there's a fucking uh, Pac Man one. There's a uh, 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 NASCAR cart. Racer? Yeah, there's a NASCAR yeah. cart racer. Yeah, yeah. This All right. There was a Mortal Kombat. Right. Uh, yeah, that uh, was included with uh, Deception, right? Armageddon. Armageddon. Yeah, Armageddon. yeah, that was in one of the Armageddon. games. Armageddon. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. This is actually pretty good. Speed Freaks is actually pretty good. I don't know when it's coming to console. It does have a positive rating um, on Steam. It's got like twelve hundred, you know, reviews, and it's free to play. Um, and as I oh. can, from what I can tell, the free to play bit is just like skins and stuff like that. So they're going to add content as far as new racers and stuff. Like there's seven carts I think right now to choose from, and there's different like there's kind of classes um there's ones that are heavier that are be you know more tanky then there's lighter ones that are more you know kind of hit and runs and then there's kind of like the the mid in between stuff um but yeah it's it's not bad it's it's man it's free to good. play free to play just killed it for me because i'd have played the shit out of that disney one that was just released if it uh, wasn't fucking free to play so the difference between this and the disney one 
Um, and cause and you say that all the time and I'm like, damn, how does the fact that it be a free kills it for you? But uh, you're, I, I get it when you say the Disney thing, the Disney one is made like a mobile free to play game. So when you, when you open it up, you get hit with, Hey, spend some money on this. Hey, you want to pass this, put this button and I'll take you here. Hey, do you want to do this? Hey, I can help you miss that. And you're like, damn, can I just get to the game? You got to clear all these screens for you to do that. There's 75 different kind of currencies you got to earn. There's different events that unlocks this character that type of shit this doesn't have that this is if you it's got it's no. got like three modes in it right now damn just be optimistic nigga is you is, is you living for fucking 20 years from now you playing it today i'm just so today, i'm just saying i want that. i want a video game i can just buy and play like that's like, why i quit okay. playing the first descendant like i enjoyed the first descendant but every time i boot it up i'm like <sighs> let's go through the rigmarole to figure out how i can have a good time I... Wow. Okay. I mean, I stopped playing that too. But this. How, how often are you playing Konami Crazy Racers, Ken? Never. I mean, that, you're an idiot. Crazy, that game slaps. No, I know. But like recently, I haven't played it. But when it came out, oh yeah, that thing was the shit. All right. Well, I'm just. This ain't that. This isn't that bad. I would just say when it comes out to console, just give it a try. I mean. Also, it, Anthony, you pulling again, out old shit. Like, of course, I'm not playing old shit right currently. Like. Well, that's not true. You play classic. That's not true at all. Time. So I mean, you need to not specifically. No, you're you're yeah. talking about specifically yeah. one game. Like okay, yeah, but you generally now that you, you fucking mentioned Rally. it, I probably will play it today. Pac Man World Rally. No, I, I didn't play Pac Man recently. Mm. Pac Man Road Pac Man World Rally. Rally. World Rally. Yes, World Rally. Yeah, it's a kart racing game Pac- with fucking Pac Man. Did a Baron stand? But anyway, Motor Combat. In Armageddon, that's what I, I I thought it was Carmageddon. But like, no, that's a separate game. Motor Combat. Yeah. yeah, Carmageddon was completely different. And most of the Carmageddon games are shit. You want to play the shittiest one? You play that sixty four one. Sixty four game. Oh, oh. Yeah. Carmageddon. That's I remember that from PC. It had like the ball head. Yeah. Dude There's a, there was a new yeah, one like two years, run over three years ago for points and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mama, <laughs> my mama yelled at us when she saw us. There was literally was a new game. one that came out like in like twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen, I think. I did not know that. It was on was Xbox ass? One and PS4, I believe. I'm assuming it was ass. I oh, it was that. shit. It was pure shit. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that game when it first came out. God, we're old. The a g- okay. good rule of thumb is that if uh, if a classic game series comes out with a new game and then you haven't heard about it, it's shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're absolutely right. And most likely it's not made by the people who made the original. Like there was a right. flat out four and you're like, Oh, yeah. there was, there was an Ultima game on mobile phone. Yeah. Actually flat out three oh, is worse know, than I flat out to, four. So I, I need to, I need to know how bad was Ultima on the mobile. It phone. fucking sucked. It, I, <laughs> just look it up. It's I, it, it sucked. It was free to play horse shit and it sucked. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so many of those free-to-play mobile games are just off because they all pl- use the little gotcha thing, like the card game. Well, but see, y'all don't like card games. The card games I like; those are those are pretty. I think you just referencing me. I think uh, these other two guys like card games just fine. No, I thought I don't like cards yet. Oh, I thought yeah, you did no. like cards. Never mind. No, no I, I don't, don't like, like cards. You're on the correct side of history. Congratulations. I Imagine. I like I like. Well, let me put it this way. I like actual card games like poker. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, I play um, fucking and those blackjack. Do you play spades? Do you yeah. play spades? Yeah, I've played I spades. spades. Yeah, I've played spades. Yeah, we oh, I used to play. Oh, dang. Okay, kid. I didn't yeah. actually. I would. Oh, you. Okay, go yeah, ahead, Ryan. My, my, my friends, my friends, and I used to play spades all the time. That was like the number one card game for us to white play friend? when we were all hanging out. <laughs> yeah, white white friends. That's fucking crazy. Every, I swear to God, y'all are like the first, like, every time I ask white people, oh, y'all, y'all gonna play spades? I don't, what is that? Is that like hearts? Kind of oh, sort of, no. yes. It's like, a, I've never, I've rarely talked to fucking white people that know how to play spades. Oh, yeah, that was like a go-to. When, when my friends and I would go camping, uh, that we always played spades. And when we would just hang out at each other's house, we would play spades. Shit, I still have fun. I haven't played it in a while. I still have fun memories when we used to have poker night. I miss having poker nights, man. Yeah, that was fun. I think you well, we, we bought it for like ten dollars. It was all in quarters or some shit. That's usually that's usually that, that, that the way true. we play too. You get some chips and everybody buys in for ten bucks and everybody gets the same amount of chips and then you play it tournament style. Yeah, I'm 
want to lose because I suck at poker. I at least I learned <laughs> I learned how to play because I got the VR um thing. I honestly didn't know how to play, and it was there was a um a poker game or whatever on the um uh, the quest, and um it was really good. And my my wife got into it too, and like I yeah I learned how to play Texas Hold'em. Luigi there. taught me how to play poker. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The the thing that sucks about like um like you you there there are free to play mobile poker games right mm. but you can't you can't play them the way you would actually play play poker against real people because as soon as it's fake money nobody plays the way they actually would play if they were playing real poker oh hell no, yeah. no so hell you have to I realized yeah yeah you got to completely adjust the way you play yeah because I was like fuck it I'm gonna go because I just ain't my money all in nigga whatever it's yeah hundred percent like, yep. yeah that's what everybody yeah. does. Yep, yeah, you you're right. I um, got a pair of deuces. Are, Let's go. Right. <laughs> there um just go back to spade. There's some pretty good mobile spades card games. Um there's one on the Apple Arcade that's just called Spades that is fantastic and it has multiplayer and like it's all random like you don't even pick like your name. You just have like a little picture of oh, whatever and like you get paired with people, you know, randomly. But yeah, I play that all the time. So just, you know, if ever you you know, want to play it. But yeah, that's awesome. Y'all know how to play. But yeah, Speed Freaks is pretty good. When it gets to the console, y'all should try it out. <laughs> I'll totally try it unrelated. Out. Oh, Carmageddon got br- brought up, and then we were like, uh, Carmageddon had a release that was bad. So I'm like, I looked it up. Um, yeah, it got f- it got in the 50s. The, um, the most recent one? Car- Carmageddon Reincarnation from 2015. Oh god, it was that old? Re- Jesus. Yeah, and then got reissued with like uh, uh, updates and stuff. Called uh, it was Carmageddon Max Damage. It was in fact made by the original creators. Holy um, shit! Oh, wow. They bought it. They bought the rights back from Square Enix. Stainless Games. Uh, they're best known for the creation of the Carmageddon series, which only had like consists of one good game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they've done other stuff, um, but uh, yeah, Carmageddon. Um, they did they did Magic: The Gathering duels of the Planewalkers for a while. The um, game that one was yeah. good. That Magic one. duels in 2015, and then yeah, Carmageddon Max Damage, Carmageddon Crashers, which I can't e- doesn't even have a Wikipedia article, and then Shock Rods in 2019. That that sounds Ooh. dirty. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, clip that. Yeah, because he said that was enthusiasm. Uh, <laughs> you're just saying clip that because yeah, I got you earlier saying oh, absolutely but, something about putting it in. But still, that was good because you did say it was enthusiasm. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, oh, uh, shit. Uh, yeah, that enthusiasm could stay because I think you're playing his... Uh, are you playing his miniature vehicles? I think you're playing his like, small RC cars. Sure, it looks like it. It reminds me of Revolt. Man, I loved those um, NES Micro Machines games. Oh, those things were oh, the shit. Yeah. yeah, I like the N sixty four one. I don't think I, I don't play that one. I don't think I, I played the, that one. Before. Yeah, we never. The, the PS. I think the uh, I think vol, uh, version four on uh, yeah. PS one is the same. Yeah, PlayStation one. Yeah, yeah. They they brought that, that right, series yeah. back on Xbox One and PS four, and it was not good. Not good. Speaking of not good returns to franchises. Yes, yes. That that like I feel like every time I get excited, they're like, "Oh, there's a new version of this game you loved." It sucks. I think that that's. I mean, that's what Ryan said. Like, you just can't yep. be excited. It's it's gonna be ass. Like, I I'm gonna have to stop getting excited because I hear about them. Oh, they're bringing this back. I'm... No, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You just asked me to be optimistic, and oh, you over here like, oh no, fuck that. I know, because you don't wore me down. You not hear me? I said, I guess I can't be excited. Like, I literally was, like, acquiescing to you being like, I just, damn, it's just every time. I'm like, well, shit. And then he just brought up two right here. Like, it's like, well, fuck, I guess they right. So, you win. I'm waving the white flag there. <laughs> you you <All> win. Right. <laughs> um, What else did I play? Uh, I didn't play that. I installed it, but I didn't play I installed Darksiders 3. Because I don't remember. I, I, I definitely didn't beat it. I know I beat the first and second one. And I played Genesis like the halfway. But it was. It got weird. Um, but I didn't beat three. But I apparently it was on Game Pass. So I was like oh. Let me. I, I beat the first one twice. I never finished the second one. I got probably 80% of the way through the second one. And never went back and finished that, it. That second game. 
is way too fucking long. It's just a it lot. Really, it's a lot. Really long. What? That game feels like it never. It like it's not bad. It's a great game. No, it, yeah, it's, it's good. good. Jesus, it's Christ. even the first one. The first one is great, but it drags uh, in the last the last act. Yeah, it definitely uh, drags yeah. in the last act. Did y'all so. play the third one? Just yeah, I beat I the third I one. Didn't. Was it good? Is it, is it, it worth it? Can I play it? It's fine. <laughs> I mean, I like the story, so let me ask you that, because I, I like the Dark it's, Rider story. So you'll it, enjoy it. It's it's a Souls like sort of. Yeah, except it's oh. not it's not as hard. No. Okay. 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 All right. I, I the only um, thing the one thing I love about that series is like every game is different. Like the first game is Zelda. Second game is yeah. Diablo. Third game is yep. Dark Souls. Like it's cool. And then Genesis is like yeah, kind of Diablo. Cool. Diablo, yep, yeah. I, I like. I just, I really hope that because you know, got got teased with, that maybe in the news. I don't know if we, are we talking about that? Last we talked week? about that last week. Yeah, that happened last Friday. Okay. Yeah, I hope that. I hope that the fourth one brings us four player co op. Okay, we see all four. I, of I have to say this because I just saw it. Wario sixty four. This is from eleven hours ago, but I'm dying laughing. Game mill publisher at Best Buy <laughs> sale. Oh, <laughs> I'm God. good. Wow. That's a lot of horseshit. That's a lot. You know what? It's crazy. I have to go. I'm going to Best Buy after this because I can. I'm, I'm going to take back that Pro BFG, man. I just I can't get into it. Oh, that I sucks. I love that controller. I know everything I've read. Everybody says that this controller is like it's so great. It's everything, and I, it's the triggers. Like I like literally everything else about it, but the triggers are like wide, like the PlayStation controller trigger, and that's mm. part of the reason why I don't like the PlayStation controller. Like I just I can't. It never feels comfortable in my hand. Like huh. I try to play every kind of game, and I just I can't I can't get into it, and it is pissing me off. But no, like, that's I, fair. Yeah. Like there's just some things that just don't like. People tell me all the time oh, the yeah. dual sense is awesome. I'm like, I fucking hate that controller, but you know. Yeah, I oh, I don't like that controller either. I, I don't like that. Controller. Everybody's like, that's the best oh, controller that's the PlayStation. That's the one where you can move the analog sticks and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a it's a it's got like you can swap out the right analog stick entirely for like a fight pad. Like it's it's a great fucking controller. It oh, is. I love it. And- I'm probably going to get it for the PlayStation 5 because, again, I'm sure that the stuff is the same. But I, I just I like the triggers on the Xbox because they're not wide like that. Um, but yeah, so I yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to take that back. But anyway, so I, I played the Atlas Fallen upgrade update. Whatever. I did too. Um, it, it, it's really good. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, a lot. That, like that game should have been delayed and it should have came out now. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just yep. going to say that. Uh, a hundred percent, they should have recasted the voice actors because that the I forget his name, Niall. That that first voice actor was very wispy and no. And I think they put I think it's Ben Starr, the dude from Final Fantasy, that's voicing him now. It's great. Like I'm th- this game. If if the combat is fun, um, it's way more fluid than it was before. Like I yeah, I'm 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 gonna gonna go back to this. So yeah, it definitely should have just been delayed. Um. What else did I play? Uh, I played some Texas Chainsaw Massacre because it's about to leave Game Pass. I thought I owned that for for whatever reason, but it's about to leave uh, Game Pass. So How I do you feed blood there. to Grandpa? Yeah, well, you walk up to him, you hit the Y button. That's what you do it after you uh, hit people when you're one of the killers. <laughs> but yeah, so people are still playing it. I got into some. It's funny when you go into the like quick match thing, it like instantly shoots up to like five minutes, and I was like, "Fuck that! I ain't about to wait five minutes for a match." And then like ten seconds, I was in one. I was like, "Oh, okay, that must have been a buffer." Because nah, nigga, five minutes? No, no. There's no game that is worth me sitting for five minutes to play it. Um, That's a first world ass problem right there, ain't it? It definitely is. It definitely is. <laughs> I ain't waiting five to minutes it. to play a video game. Look, I had ashamed to say it. Um, I I uh, I played Warhammer Forty Thousand Bolt Gun. I had played it like briefly. I was like, oh, this is cool. And I I sat down because I was cooking something, and I was like, oh, well, you know, I could boot this up and shoot for a little bit or whatever. Um. And fucked around, like, I got the food off, it didn't burn. But fucked around and really got into that game, was playing it, and it was, a couple hours went by. That's a good game. I love the how weighty they make the um, uh, the Space Marine feel, and you can hear it in the footsteps and when they jump and stuff, and it's like a pixel game. Like, that's crazy. So that's part of the reason why I love the Space Marine game, is because you, you feel the weight 
of that armor and stuff. Um, but yeah, that bolt gun is pretty. It's, it's a pretty good uh, boomer shooter. Um, and then the thing I played the most of uh, is Dragon's Dogma Two. Um, that game's incredible. Uh, I spent a lot of time trying to get into Batali or whatever that I think that's the name of it. Uh, finally, Batal. Batal, that's what it is. I, I managed to sneak in and I got the man. It was touch and go for a little bit there. Uh, cause like I was like I saw the path that you had sent me, Ryan. And I was like, man, yep. I really wish I had done that. But I was so far in to the where I was, like it was gonna yeah. be more to go back. So I was like, well, fuck it, in for a penny. So <laughs> it was. <laughs> Whew, it was it was rough going because there was some shit. Um, because that definitely is like the, it must be like the high level area. And then yeah. I got to like the town in there, and people started jumping me. I'm like, what is who? Are you? Like all the cat people like started attacking me, and that was no, crazy. they thought you were the guy that was trying to reconnect the electricity. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a throwback story. That was. Oh, that was good. But that's how it felt. Cause like I had to, so I didn't kill all these people, but like, we got there and got rested and stuff. Now, this is what I want to talk to you about. So I met, cause I, while I was there, I was traveling around cause I had to, I was on my way to unlock the magic archer class, which you had to meet somebody that was close to there, but I had to get there for, but anyways, I got to the pub or the tavern and this dude was like, they was about to jump me. And this other, this like sword hand jumped in. Did you? Oh, yep. Okay. Now, I must. Now, did you meet him prior to you seeing him here? I did not. I think it's possible to, but I did not. Okay. So, did you meet him again then on the um, the quest to, um, if you did it, because it might not even be a, something you have to do, because like a random guard came up and gave it to me. Um, you have to protect some. Yep. Uh. Okay, so and he yeah, showed that's up. A, yep. Yeah, I don't okay. think that's an avoidable quest. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, because I was just I was wondering if because I I had met him there and so he was like, oh hey, you know I know you from the thing and I was like, oh snap. So I wonder if I had not met him if I had done that and done this, if it would have been because I ended up siding with him because I knew him and I was like, oh well, fuck y'all, I don't know you, all. I don't know y'all. So, but yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, he, he, he pops up. He pops up several times throughout the story. Nice. Yeah, he just I uh right before uh I got off, well actually the dragon fight is when I got off, but um he was like, you know, the next time we meet, we gonna we gonna throw hands basically. You know, we're gonna fight. Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit. All right. Um so yeah, I figured I was gonna meet him again. Um but yeah, this this game is great. Um so I yeah, I, I unlocked I got my magic archer, um, and then I went back to the to the capital. I don't like the fact that you have to find the fairy stones, which I've managed to find I think I have like four of them on me right now but then like to buy they're like fucking ten thousand yeah they're expensive yeah Yeah. crazy and then um i i i love the just randomness of this game because i'm just minding my own business and a fucking troll just jumps down i'm like oh we're (laughs) we're in a fight like it happens all the time or you're like like i'm in the city and there's a griffin i see it flying in the distance i'm like holy shit wow this game is crazy yeah, I had a uh I had a um in the in the main capital, uh Vermin or whatever it is, mm-hmm. um, it got attacked by a Minotaur. And so we're in like the mer- <laughs> we're in like the merchant quarter fighting off a Minotaur. Uh yeah, it was it was cool. That game is awesome. I love that game. Yeah, I I thought I was like, Oh shit, did the game glitch? Like I, I didn't think you could get attacked in town. I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> Well, let's help these yeah. people out. <laughs> but no, I yeah, this, this game is good. I wish, God, I wish I could find your pawn because I know, I know, I that know. Got all the quest knowledge. Oh yeah, <laughs> so I mean, it, it, well, and what's funny is because I had started um, New Game Plus, um, but I hadn't actually got back to where my pawn was. So when you asked for that code yesterday, I'm like, oh shit, I can't give it to him because I don't, I, I don't have my pawn yet. I got you. So I, I played it just long enough to get back to her and then get all my equipment again. Uh, and yeah, she's level 55 with uh, in-game equipment. So uh, she would be, I'm sure, very helpful. I'm not sure why uh, you can't find her even with the code. 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into this. A little weird. Look into this. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm gonna look into it because I, I man, some of these quests I get so tired of wandering. I'm like, damn it, where is it? Like, and I know <laughs> your, your part knows. Just take me right to um, it. Yeah, I'm sure because I did most of the most of the side quests in the game. So. Yep, and I've I've been doing just that too, um, because it's I, and it's so easy to get pulled into stuff like you, yep. like you said, like the Zelda game, like you see something interesting, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna go over there. Sometimes I end up in a fight, like you know, I've been smart enough to run away from stuff. Now, usually I would just like you know take it and get killed, but now I'm just yeah, no, fuck this, like I run away, like I've ran away yep. from like a couple of dragons. Huh. Yeah, the, the Drakes are. Very, very difficult in that game. That they, oh, are they are definitely the definitely the hardest enemy, um, for sure. So there's no shame in uh, there's no shame in running away from them. Yeah, and they just show up too. Cause that yep. one that I just decided to fight, like, cause it, and it's funny, it, it literally happened right after I like left the cave area and had met back up with my pawns after um, leaving with that dude. Um, yeah. And so we're we're running up the hill, and there was there's nowhere else I could go. Like I had to go that way, and there's a dragon, and I'm like, oh yeah. well, fuck. So and, and I'm like, well, shit, all right. And what's funny is because your your character's connected to the dragon, the they'll talk shit to you yeah! when, the, when the, <laughs> the drake is in the area. Uh, they'll call you pitiable arisen and all that stuff. Uh, my heartless kin, like they they they'll. They'll talk shit to you until you come over and fight them. I try, like I was trying to like because I thought I could sneak by this one. Um, I was like, okay, it doesn't see me, and then it like it, it went into my mind and started talking shit, and I'm like, oh well, damn it! And then it's like giant health bar popped up, and I'm like, well, all right, here we go. Uh, but I almost, well, I didn't almost. We only we only took down one bar of it. It was going to be a long fight. Um, but it landed on me. Like, I thought I had got out of the way. It pounced on me, and I couldn't, like, heal fast enough. Because, you know, you have, like, a second, even once your bar is, like, at zero, where you can get to the menu and, like, take something real quick. But I didn't hit it fast enough, and I got killed. So, but I'm getting getting closer, because before I was barely doing anything. But we managed to get a whole bar off of it. So, the next time we meet Dragon, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> um, But, yeah, that, I think that about... Does it? Hold on, let me just take one more peruse here. Yeah, that's it. That's it for me. All right. We'll move on to the Wombat. Yeah, I mean, I really haven't played anything, uh, which is crazy to say, but it's true. Um, the I, It's been a, a very, very busy week. Um, so, trying to think. I mean, I guess the only thing I've played... Uh, or I can say that I've played uh, is Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I've been playing that just to see uh, if I um, like it enough to pick it up on Steam Deck. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sold yet. Um, the game is good for sure, um, but I like in order to play it on Steam Deck, I'd have to pay twenty bucks. It's not free, and I can play. World of Warcraft for free, uh, and obviously up to a certain level. But and I haven't found anything in this game that makes me say, "Oh yeah, I'd much rather play this than World of Warcraft." If I'm gonna actually play, if I'm gonna spend any amount of my time playing an MMO, um, but I'm still playing it uh, just to to see if it hooks me anymore. It definitely, it's definitely pretty. Um, it's I like the character designs and everything. It looks it looks really nice, uh, and it it does play well. It's um, definitely built for mouse and keyboard um like the the i don't know on on controller there's just and maybe it's not the controller maybe it's just the game but there's so much shit that i'm like i don't i don't know what this is i don't know what this does i don't know where i can even find what this does um so i've been trying to like go through some of the menus and see if i can figure out uh everything because i i do feel a little bit lost um but uh Again, I'm 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 a level eleven, so I'm I'm just you know kind of making my way through some of the early quests and trying to decide if uh, if it's something I want to keep playing because um, I know the, everybody else. So the nice thing about the this one, I don't know if you know that you may already know it, is you don't have to make a whole new character if you want to change classes. 
you can you can change your class from your character so you could have you know your character go and you just have to talk to the different guild master so gotcha. if you want to be a, a monk you go talk to it'll be on the map and there's like three and it'll, the main story will take you to all the um continents because there's three different continents and the stuff is kind of scattered around um but it'll take you to all of them and it'll, at some point you'll just be able to warp around with a little stone to wherever you need to go um but yeah you can you can try out different classes like that if you want the the guild okay. leads, i think are what they're called or something like that but yeah then you can also there's a job system too which you can that's get into eventually out. yeah yeah like you oh, start well, off like, with yeah, like you start off with yeah you start off with like what is it like four or five basic classes and then like once you mm-hmm. level up you can unlock like 20 jobs and shit it's crazy yeah, yeah i'm a yeah, i'm a gladiator is what my class is right now okay so you're gotcha. carrying heavy weapons yeah, so well, no, 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 like Gladiator's that. the one that's sword and shield. The um, warrior, I think, is the one that does the two-handed weapons. Gotcha. I thought, I thought, I thought the one I created was a gladiator, and I'm carrying a two-handed axe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm a gladiator, and all my weapons so far have been one-handed. My, shield. my sixty character was a was an archer. So, gotcha. I love that the, game. Uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um uh, again. I'm 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 gonna put some time in it. See um if it hooks me. Um, but so far, it really it really hasn't. Um, you haven't done a dungeon yet, I take it. I have not. Man, dungeons are so well, fun, but you gotta wait forever for a fucking tank. <laughs> not anymore. Well, I'm I'm um, a tank, so yeah. So it, oh, that's right. Yeah. It, that, but now it's like way quicker. To when the queue the queue system for the dungeon. I remember um, I used to and, remember sitting for like twenty minutes waiting on a goddamn tank. That yeah, you know what? I guess that is the game that would make me wait because that yep. When you do like the tanks in some of the later dungeons, yeah, you would wait forever. Those bosses um, in those dungeons are fucking awesome though. Yeah, you're close though, Ryan. I think you do the first one at fifteen. Um, it might actually might be twelve. It's you're you're close to the first dungeon. It's definitely fifteen. Is it okay? Yeah, because yeah. I knew it was before twenty. But yeah, you're 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 close. The dungeons are where it's at. <clears throat> gotcha. Good times. Okay. Well, we'll we'll give it a shot and see. Uh, once I once I get there, if it uh, if it's enough to put its hooks in me. So, uh, outside of that, I mean, I maybe played a little bit more No Man's Sky, but not a ton. Um, I played. Um, I was messing around the other day when I had five minutes, and I played um, the uh, uh, X-Men game on uh, Super Nintendo. Um, Why can't I remember the name of it now? The one where you, each character basically has their own level. Um, So you've got, like, Wolverine, uh, Psylocke. No. Fuck, what is that one called? I, I just remember. played it like a couple weeks ago, and I can't for the life of me remember what it was called. Uh, it's man, I can't remember. It's oh, shit. Something about mutant apocalypse. Is that it? That might be it. They made so um, many of those games back in the day. I can't remember half those names. There is a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Capcom. Um, Super Nintendo. Yeah. 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 Mutant apocalypse. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I just that, Googled um, it. I, I'm not gonna take credit. I. But yeah, you control five. You get, yeah, you guide through their own dedicated levels. Yeah. And you can select which level to complete next. Yeah, you basically, you can pick which level you want to do. And even, like, when you die, you can pick a different level, and it saves the number of lives that you had as that character. Um, so, it, that game's huh. fine. It's the not Wolverine, great. It's the a... Wolverine, Wolverine doesn't have uh, uh, healing. No. No, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, and, and Cyclops... That. And Cyclops doesn't really shoot his eye beams either. Oh, for f- basically just punch and kick. Yeah, that pisses me off. Okay. Um, so it's it's fine. It's a Capcom beat 'em up, right? Like that's, um, it's that era was full of those games, uh, and I loved most of them. But, um, yeah. So I, I think that's it. All right. Oh, I will try to go through this relatively quickly. But I did play a lot, but it was mostly a little of a lot. So I didn't get into anything big this week. I checked out Creatures of Ava. That's a that's a neat game. Yeah. I don't I, mean, I don't really know. Is it just Pokemon Snap? Like, is there nothing else 
Yes. Okay. It's, right. well, yes. Well, like I said, the combat had it's creatures of Ava. Like it, you you take the pictures of them of the creatures, but then like when you save them or like um fight their infection you like hold the little healing beam on them and it's really just like that's it and you're just dodging their attacks and then once they're healed you pied piper them to an evacuation thing so okay a little pokemon snap a little yeah that's yeah it's, it's a little pokemon snap and this is only going to make ken groan but it's a little bit of pokemon snap and then it's a little bit of hurdy gurdy <laughs> i knew that you'd appreciate that hurdy gurdy Jesus. Um, <clears throat> I also checked out Signy, All Guns Blazing. Jesus Christ! Oh, how was that? Yeah, the the shmup. I don't, the, I don't the, know the if I'm like not understanding what because there's not like a tutorial or anything. At least I didn't see one. Maybe I need to dig deeper in the menus for it. But like, dude, I start playing it and like I can't even get past level one. Like that game just whoops my fucking ass. Okay, so so do you? Do you think it's because it's too long? I'm just wondering. No, I don't die Good. slowly. I okay, die so fast. Okay, so here's here's. It's got mixed reviews on Steam, and I think a lot of people have. Say, stages go on for way too long, with the same enemy wave repeating once you already figured it out. As a standout, stage six in the late game consists of a whopping two basic enemy types you shoot for over ten minutes. I feel Ooh, like. There's... <clears throat> when I was playing it, I felt like, is this supposed to be like a roguelike where every time I die, like I get a little thing to level up, but like I didn't see anything like that. Like it's a beautiful game and it plays great. It's got some awesome music, but like I just die. And I'm just like, I, I don't. I yeah. Don't like even if another one is saying that the ship moves too fast to navigate tight spaces well enough. It's also got a weird control scheme where, like, the right analog stick kind of pseudo aims a shot, but it's only like a minuscule direction left or right. And like one of the first big enemies that crops up on you, like, goes behind you. And I'm like, can I shoot behind? No, I, I don't think I can. And then like he's shooting bullets, <clears throat> and sometimes it's hard to decipher like. Is this a bullet? Is this a shield? Is this like... And then I'll try to dodge it and then just die. I'm like, okay, well... I don't know that I like this all that much. <laughs> Which sucks because it looks great and the music is awesome. It's just like... Ah. There might have been a reason they gave it away on Epic Games. I was just about to say that. I actually redeemed it too. I, I haven't that's, played that's, it, but I actually... That's a painful it statement to make, but I understand. Yeah, it's it's a weird game. I'm going to keep trying because I'm going to review it. Like, they sent me a code for it on Xbox. I, I played it on PC first, and I was like, yeah, this looks cool. I was like, I'll check it out later on console. And I was like, I just kept dying. I'm like, I don't I don't think I like this. Um, I checked out Pepper Grinder because that dropped on Xbox this week. That's a cool game. Yeah, my issue is that one boss fight that I just was like, I'm not going to bash my head against this to get good at this game that's coming to a close very quickly. Yeah, I, uh, I only played it for like 20 minutes, but I like the, the, the movement feels really good. The movement feels great. The problem is, is that the bosses, outside of like the first one, become more about a, a direct fight, which is not what that game is about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, it's about movement, and the first boss understands that. The second and third boss, which is where I got stuck, um, doesn't. They want you to directly fight somebody, and it's like that's not why I'm here. I was gonna say like the the little bit, yeah, the little bit I played. There is no direct fighting; it's all about the movement. Like the enemies that you fight, quote unquote, are like used to make jumps and stuff like they're 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 mario obstacles right they're mario enemies. yeah they're exactly obstacles. they're not they're not direct punch fight m- monsters so yep uh, <clears throat> i think that's a cool game i left it on my hard drive which means i'll go back to it um a game i did not leave on my hard drive was a game called bleak faith and i don't know how to describe this other than we 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 like use some free assets in unreal engine no no no, no. You, it's not Bleak Faith. It's Bleak Faith. Forsaken. I literally, it's just called Bleak Faith. The version I'm playing. What? Yeah, the title screen does not say Forsaken. Yeah, it just says Bleak Faith. It looks like Dark Souls. What? At home, 
Well, okay, so it's bleak faith forsaken on everything else except for although I can see it in Xbox, the cause... the X yeah, well, Xbox doesn't list it as that. They just list it as uh, bleak faith, but their uh title card still says forsaken. It doesn't it doesn't matter what you call it. It's ass. <laughs> like that's, whatever you want is ass. Yeah, like this game is just like the controls are mostly floaty. Positive on Steam. It's so what? Argue with the Steam. It's mostly positive on Steam. Motherfuckers like some shit then, because this game is ass. I'm sorry. Like, I can respect Dark Souls games because they control well. This game don't control well. The frame rate is all over the place. The world is uninteresting. I just, blech. it's very bleak. Oh, <laughs> uh, I thought I was really gonna like golf versus zombie, like a golf game, like Hot Shots, but you're just hitting zombies. But goddamn, the control is terrible. It's terrible. Like, how do you fuck up a golf game? It just ask these guys, cause they did it. Takes a special kind, dude. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna describe to you. Though. So, you know, a lot of golf games now, like, use that right stick. You pull back. You push forward. Choose the ball. Yeah. Okay. Yep. In this one, you hold it back. It starts to put an arc like a grenade. And if you don't, like, you got to let go, and then it shoots at the arc. You don't see the arc until you start running it, which makes lining up a shot damn near impossible. Yeah, that sounds like it sucks. Yeah, it's bad. And the control, like, the camera movement is so, like, fast that, like, you can't... Did you get to the driving mini game? <sighs> no, I didn't. I gave up because the control was ass. A, and when I say driving, I should specify like you literally drive a vehicle down the road to the next spot where you golf. Oh, that sounds awful. Like a golf I cart. It. <laughs> golf cart. Yeah, it's. I guess it's, it. It doesn't really look like a golf cart because the top is not on it. But um. I see that like some of the zombies put up like pans in front of their heads so you can't hit them easily. That's neat. But this game looks like mobile shit. Oh, it's trash. It's straight trash. Uh, and then the last indie game I checked out was called Deathbound, which is fucking Dark Souls again, because that's all people can make nowadays. That's all we, that's all we can do. Um, the thing that stood out to me in this one was that your dude looks like a crusader. From, like, Diablo, he's got, like, the, the Christ logo on his shirt. He's got the helmet. He's got a sword and shield. I'm and sorry, he... hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the Christ <laughs> logo? The Christ logo. <laughs> the you the Christ, the Christ logo. logo. You mean a cross? Logo. You mean a you, did, did, right. you, Could y'all just take a joke and, like, enjoy it instead of, like, fucking die? Yeah, don't pretend it? it's a joke now that we've called you. No, like, it's totally, like, that was totally Christ a joke. Logo. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I know it was a joke. It was still funny as hell. The Christ logo. Yeah. I'm going to call that from now on. Yeah, that's what you should call it. But, the, you know, he looks like that. You know you know exactly what I'm talking about now, like a yeah, crusader. He looks like, he looks like the... I'm looking at the artwork, and I'm actually looking at the game right now. It reminds me of, like, take the main character out of... Um, uh, God, there's two of them now. The uh, 2D game. That's uh, Dark Souls. Uh, oh, you're talking Blasphemous. about Blasphemous. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It looks like he's got a blasphemous vibe going on. Yeah, but and it's a cyberpunk world. Yeah, he's running around like with computers and shit, and I'm like, okay, this just this this is just weird. I will give this one credit; it plays good. So if you like those games, I hey, that that is good. Did you get a party with you? I don't know. I didn't play that long. Okay, so so that that that's Fucking the Souls thing game. that interests me. Deathbound is a one of a kind party based souls like. Uh oh. So you get party members. Dynamically transform be, transform between fallen warriors, all with their unique skill sets. Oh, it's this game! Okay, I do know this game. You switch characters. And they all have different attack patterns and stuff. So instead of switching weapons, you're switching actual players and i think they all have their own death pool or something like that i can tell you it, it plays well and it looks well and it runs well so if you like those kind of games you'll probably dig this uh i did play a little bit of volgar the viking 2 that game is still brutal and hard as fuck but it's so good i love those games um i played doom and doom 2 oh my god the music the IDKFA music. Oh. Are you playing the new version music? 
Yeah, of course I am. I know okay. the old tunes. Fuck, yeah. I, I, I know some of those because I've listened to that original Doom soundtrack from... Uh, oh, God, what's his name? He did the, uh, he, it's the guy that did the music for the, uh, the Doom, uh, fuck, fuck, Eternal, uh, DLC. Yeah, it's Andrew something, Andrew right? Holt, that, or yeah, whatever, yeah. yeah. No, this music is incredible. Like, I just want to get to a new level so I can hear the new track. It's so good. It's so good. Um, there's also a new mission created by Night Dive, um, and somebody else, I think the guys at id and somebody else, like it's three people created this new, this new single player mission. And it's awesome. Like this package is incredible and you get it free if you own those versions. So, which is great. Cause I have it on steam. I have it on PS4 and I have it on switch. Yeah. And it's on game pass too. So I was about to say, is it on game pass? Is yeah. a Microsoft thing. Yeah. Nice. You just, you just boot it up. It's, it's one, it's one executable now. When you go into the menu, you can pick Doom 1, Doom 2. You can pick, like, Sigil. You can pick, like, all the um, license expansions and then the, the new expansions in there, too. Which has all new weapons and enemies, which is awesome. But, yeah, that's that's really good. Uh, I checked out Tomba. The Tomba, was it Anniversary? What's it called? Just quickly, I, I looked up... Um... You get a new Legacy of Rust episode with single player levels developed by id Software, Night Dive Studios, and Machine Games. That's what it was, yeah, Machine Games. Yeah. The um, the new ones for Quake, right? Uh, yes. I believe they did the new campaign for the Quake games, and then um, yeah, uh, older soundtracks and new new track composed by Andrew Hulshit Schult. Excuse me. 4K support, cross-platform play up to 16 players and more. Yeah, it's got a deathmatch mode, and it's got like like 30 something maps or something like that. It's crazy. Jeez, this thing is nice. this thing is an incredible package. Like as a Doom fan, it's it's Chef's kiss. This thing's so good. Uh, yeah. So I checked out that Tomba Special Edition. I I didn't pay attention to this pre-release. This is just the first game. Yeah, I saw that too, and I didn't buy it. Like, it's not cheap. No, it's twenty dollars for just yeah. the first game. And I'm going to tell you, like the the included stuff. Like, there's a cool little gallery, but other than that, it's it's just the game. I don't. And does it look all that much better? No, it looks like I could. So I'll say I I I can run it on my simulator, and I think it looks better there. Like, I don't. Man, I don't understand. Like, I appreciate people bringing back these old games because you can't buy them anymore. Like, totally appreciate that. But twenty dollars for a PS One game? And you really didn't do that much to it. Like, I don't know. It just it doesn't set right with me. When this should be just on the PlayStation Plus Store. thing, yeah. Or include both fucking games. You know what's weird, value proposition wise, if they include both games and ask forty, it would seem less of a problem. Somehow, but I still think twenty for both games is the right price. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know, man. Like I appreciate what Limited Run's doing. I'm super stoked for the Gex Collection. Like I don't know, these games just feel like they're they're too expensive, and I get it. Like a very small audience is going to buy these, so you got to make your money somewhere. But I don't know, man. 20 bucks for this just don't, it don't sit right with me. Uh, and the last thing that I checked out this week was, um, Ken Hank sent me the, the K36, which is a great name for a handheld, uh, emulation console, which on the cover has a rough translation of a quote that says, May biggest dream is stay young forever, which is one of my favorite things. Please, right. please, Ken. I need you. It, <laughs> VTGD, not play game. Uh, p- play games, not consoles. You need to switch it to that. <laughs> May biggest dream is stay young forever. Uh, but yes. Now the handheld itself. Um, <laughs> handheld got back. Uh, it's got this like really weird, like booty thing on the back of it. I don't know how to describe it unless you look at a picture of it. But it's like the grips it's on the like back of it. Name. The the model because it's a bunch of letters and numbers. Uh, K thirty six is what it's called. 
A36. I'm sure it will definitely show what I'm looking for. Put in Ken Hank K36. You'll get it from that. Oh, Ken Okay, got it. Yep. No, it shows up. AliExpress, let me take a look at it. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah, look at the back. Yeah, look at the back. I'm trying. Oh, my God. That's a booty. Jesus Christ. That well, I yeah, I didn't even think about where's the, where's the triggers going to be, but I suppose. They're on the back. Holy fuck. I'm going to be honest with you. It works. Like, hitting the triggers is is fine. Like, the buttons feel... The D-pad is excellent. D-pad is really, really good. It's got good travel. It's got good mush to it. It's really good. Analog sticks, not so much. They're awkwardly placed down the bottom middle. They don't feel great. They're very small. Like, those are a problem. Thankfully, a lot of the stuff on this does not really use the analog sticks, except for, like, Dreamcast. Um, as for what's included in it, it's got like 9,000 games. I'm going to tell you people that, that that sounds exciting. Like a quarter of those are arcade games. Um, also funny enough, out of the box, there are zero, count them, zero Nintendo games. (laughs) Well, that's not a shock. Yeah. Not, yeah. (laughs) Like no Super Nintendo, no Nintendo, nothing. There are no Nintendo games on this thing. Um, the emulation is pretty good. It does have a problem with two I systems. Think mean, I think you mean shmimulation. Yeah, sorry, shmimula- the shmimulation. Just in case they're they're searching for words. Oh, uh, <laughs> podcast. It's good, except for two systems, and the two systems it's not good on. I might have just left them off because they're pretty bad. Uh, and that is, of course, the PSP, which is known to have issues, and the Sega Saturn. Like I don't which even sucks. I mean, Sega Saturn emulation is almost universally terrible. There uh, are some exceptions, but it's been only, bad for a while. The only one that I've ever heard is half decent is stuck in that fucking blocks thing that Ken has. Oh, Polymega. The Polymega. Yeah, the Polymega Sega Saturn emulation is good. I, my mini PC runs Saturn pretty well. Like, it seems to run fine. On here, it's... And what's funny is the Saturn contains uh, Marvel vs. Capcom... Or not... Oh, sorry. X-Men vs. Street Fighter out of the box, right? You play it, and it's terrible on the Saturn. That same game is included in the arcade section. Runs like a dream. Like, no issues. So... And it's not like they included a ton of Saturn and PSP games. Like, it's, it's a small... Because the card that's included with it's only 64 gigs. So, you know. There's not a ton of stuff on here. Um, but everything else runs fine. Dreamcast runs fine. PS1 runs fine. Um, arcade runs fine. It's got a bunch of Amiga. And, like... <sighs> what's the other stuff on there? Disney games! It's what? Dizzy Returns! <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely Dizzy Games on there. Oh, Wonder Swan, both of those are on there. Um, it's fine. It's a cool thing. Like, a lot of people I've seen review this are like, oh, this would be a great gift to give somebody. Most people who get this as a gift who don't care about the the, the shmimulation on it are looking for fucking Nintendo games. Of which this thing has zero. And let's be honest, these things that they sell, like with all these games on them, like, how the fuck is it legal to begin with? But it's basically right. a box that says, well, Nintendo's the only one who will come after us. Like, Sega don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, that's basically true. Yeah, so it's weird. Like, it's it's a nice little piece of tech. The screen looks really good. It's like 640 by 480. Looks great. Uh, the interface looks good. It's really weird when you boot it up because the theme that it's using hides a bunch of the games that are included on it. So if you switch it, you see a bunch more games, which is weird. That's- Real goofy. Yeah, like, did you not think about that when you when you sent it out with that theme running? Uh, also of note, it does not connect to the internet. So uh, that's probably good. Yeah, you cannot like update the emulators that are included. You can't update the themes, any of that stuff. Um, it did come with a card reader, so you can plug it into your PC and add games to it. Um, but let's be fair, most normal people aren't going to do that. That's a whole lot of steps. Um. 
But it's fine. Like, for the price, it's not hateful. I just... I don't see myself using it a lot, because I have a mini PC hooked over to a TV. But if you wanted to play some retro stuff on the go, it ain't hateful for... I think it's like $75 or something like that. Not bad. And that's it. I think that's all I played this week. Oh, I did also check out the, the Shadow of the Ninja demo on Xbox. That game is awesome. Can't wait for that. Gonna play I don't that. even know what that Shadow is. Shadow of the Ninja. Yeah, it's an old uh, 2D side-scrolling game. Uh, I, oh, it's a remake of that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a demo. You can play as both characters. You can play the first Shadow stage. Of the Ninja Reborn. Oh, I saw that. Yes. I didn't know what it was. I, so it's good. Okay, I'll download it. Oh, it's it. excellent. It's excellent. Like, I, I played, played through the first the level. Carnage demo or whatever that game is called. Oh, yeah, Gory. Yeah, I don't know. It's a I weird game. Know. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. But anyway, that's it for this week. I spent a lot of time getting, like, older stuff up and running. So I spent a lot of time with PS3. Did some more simulation stuff on my my mini PC. So let's talk about what's coming out this week, and it's a lot. I'm not gonna lie, and it's some big games too. So we'll start off with Series X, PlayStation Five, uh, Madden NFL 25 is out early access on Monday. I believe the full version's out on Friday, the 16th. Um, Hidden Through Time 2, Discovery, uh, Cat's Request, Green Hell, Sam and Max, The Devil's Playhouse Remastered, uh, Cricket, Jay's Really Peculiar Game, which we all joked about when we got the PR for this, mm-hmm. uh, Dredge, The Iron Rig, uh, Farewell North, Hunt Showdown, and Hunt Showdown 1896. Just... Oh. Uh, that's about to come out. Uh, I think it's the next gen versions. It is, yeah. I'm waiting on that. Uh, just crow things. Uh, <laughs> I th- I don't okay. know what it's called. Uh, Xbox was finally getting Kana, the Bridge of Spirits. Uh, that's out this week. I've been playing that for like a month. Like I would have talked about it, but it's the same game. Okay. Like there's nothing different. Oh. I don't. Okay, well, I, I'll read the review. That's fine. Yeah, I, I started I writing it on Friday. Like, I I don't know what to say about. It. Like, I didn't review the first one, so I guess I could just review it as if I've never reviewed it. But like, it's literally the same game. It looks as good, which is impressive because most of the time PlayStation outdoes Xbox, even though Xbox is a yeah. more powerful machine. But I mean, this is the same game. Has all the patches. Has all the like DLC and stuff. So that's cool. But like we talked about earlier, this is three years. After it came out. Right. Nobody cares, unfortunately. And this is a great game. It's a fantastic game. So. Uh, Overboss. Phantom Spark. The Precinct. Uh, White Day 2. The Flower That Tells Lies. Complete Edition. Uh, Cast Away. House of Golf. Lion Ass Flower. <laughs> uh, House of Golf 2 Rewind or Die Jesus Blockbuster Oh, oh lord Right they serious now <laughs> nigga. They Ain't no please rewind to it uh, Sunnyside and I wonder Tur- how many people are listening to this podcast That have no idea what you're talking about yeah, Right Be kind please rewind Motherfucker we bought specific te- Technology to rewind our tapes for us Yep Yep Ooh. Oh my god! And my mama was so adamant about making sure to make sure I don't tapes every while before we go back to Blockbuster. Oh my god! One of them used to charge you. I don't remember what was it movie gallery. One of them used to charge you for not rewinding. Yeah. Our, our local video store used to charge you for that. Gotcha. Oh, they absolutely charge you. It was like five dollars or some shit. It's crazy. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then turn to mine. Also, this list that I read every week. Um, lists Black Myth Wukong for Xbox coming out on August 20th. That's not happening. That's not coming, yeah. It is coming to PlayStation 5 this week, though. It's out on the 16th. Um, Which I know review codes are out for that, and it's only PC codes, and the embargo is the release date. So take all of that for what you will. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. 
Um, Shoulders of Giants Ultimate. And Phantom Spark. And I think that's it. For PS5 and Xbox One. Now, PS4, probably not a whole lot. Uh, Nope, nothing that's not on the other systems. So let's go to Xbox One. No, although it's amazing, Kana is on Xbox One. By the way, it's not. Is it really? Yeah, it's not just. I mean, it's on PS4. Yeah, so. it makes sense, but the VCR oh, doesn't okay. make sense. So, like, can the VCR run that game? I don't know. I guess so. <laughs> All right, Nintendo Switch. Assume I'm gonna have to dig into this one. All right, we got Bullet Time, Moonshot, Max Interactive Studio. The Book's Tale, A Hop Adventure. Beat Buddy, Tale of the Guardians. Bus Simulator 2024, City Driver Premium Edition. Guayota? Is that how you would... G-U-A-Y-O-T-A? Guayota? I don't don't know. Uh, Hidden Through Time 2, Discovery. Astral Ascent, Yamat, The Beach Traveler. Uh, Tiny Pixels Volume 1 Ninpo Blast Oh look another Airy game We need more of those Dude I was going through my library this week I have like 25 Airy games Because I get all the indie games There are so many of those Yeah I don't know who's buying them Like uh, Amazing Drawing Coloring Book Simulator Arcade so it's, I looked it up because I was curious It's Wyota. And it is um, based off of uh, <laughs> mythology from the Canary Islands. Okay, no, that's good. sorry. I laughed at a game I saw later. I just... No, no, that's fine. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, it's a big mythology game for I, I guess a, a belief that I've never even heard of. Do you I remember mean... that? Um... Oh, the Spanish game that came out based on the, the Mexican lore. Um, Guacamole. No, not that one. <laughs> I mean, I'm not fully wow. wrong. Wow. Uh, hey, no. They they talk about... They talk no, about I know, but it's not, it's not Spanish. No, I thought he said Mexican, too. He said Spanish game based on Mexican lore. Uh, yeah, Mexican lore. What is... I'm sorry. Oh, we're, we're, oh the game is in Spanish. Right, right. Oh, uh, fuck. I can't remember. It was like a it was like a third person action adventure game. God, I can't remember the name of it. Those guys did pretty well. They went. They, I think they like launched in the Game Pass, and then they made a uh, second game. And I can't. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it. What did What did it look like? It had a real like brown and orange kind of tone to it, with like black outline characters. God, I can't remember the name of that game. And it's in Spanish. I th- I think that the the native language in it is Spanish. Yes. Okay. And I'm then like it has an English translation because obviously they put it out in the U.S. on Game Pass. So well, that's the reason why like when you, when I, I I wasn't thinking language originally because I was thinking if you've played it why would you be playing in Spanish? Sorry. No. That's where no. My no. No. Went. Okay. No. Gotcha. I need to figure out what that game was. That game was pretty cool. Um. Sorry. Three D or two D? It's three D. Uh, arcade Tanks World, Tank Battle Simulator, Arco, uh, Hentai Paradise Volume 2. All right, boys, let's go. Oh, Lord. Oh, thanks. Uh, magical. <laughs> What's that? No, I, I was laughing. That's oh, okay. Yeah, no, thanks. Uh, magical Delicacy, uh, Minami Lane, Overboss, Parking Masters, Phantom Spark. Who the fuck is buying these games? Uh, Space Raft. Uh, Squiggle Drop, Supermarket Manager 2024. Ooh, this is a tongue twister here. Uh, Synaxarian Christian Stories, Holy Martyr Neophytos. Yep. <laughs> I went to school with him. <laughs> right, like what in the world are you supposed to do with that? I wonder if he's got the Christ logo on his shirt. Um, Perhaps. He probably do. Uh, Tactical Strike, Special Forces Shooter. Okay, this next game was the one I laughed at when you were talking, Anthony. The Godfeather, a Mafia Pigeon Saga. Bruh. (laughs) I'm looking it up 
Because I have a feeling <laughs> the it's God dumb. Feather is fucking great. Like that is a good title. I would I would probably pick that up. A That's mafia a pigeon roguelike saga full of danger, adventure, and poop. <laughs> like, God dang it! Why is everything? Oh, it looks it looks not good. Oh, oh okay. No. Uh, Ultimate Fishing Supermarket Simulator 3D. Okay. I, was, I just read Ultimate Fishing. I'm like, okay, so it's a fishing game. But no, it's an Ultimate oh, Fishing Supermarket Simulator. simulator. Supermarket. So what, do you fish it and then got to come back and... Sell it, probably. Sell it. People are crazy with these, with these simulator games now. Oh, uh, uh, Cup Killer Sandbox Game. Uh, the Daddish Collection, which those games are pretty fun. Uh, Elrin... El Rintaros Wanderings? I uh, dead ass thought you was about to be El Rod Hubbard the game, and I was going to be like, what the fuck? It's like, Dianetics, what are we bitch. Doing? <laughs> 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 oh, I choked on that. Dianetics is. Oh, man. It takes me back to the mall and shit. Right? Oh, fuck. Oh, Lunar Nightmare. Murder is game over. Streaming death. Jesus. Uh, the Serena Expedition Thief Puzzle turned to... Jesus Christ, Nintendo Switch, what are you doing? Bizarre Exit Station 7? Like, who plays these games? DCK Doc Chess King That's here Alright, I'm done I, I can't anymore Let's do some news. Uh, Xbox is hiring a senior strategic partner manager for its team in Japan. I don't know why. Uh, new Game Pass games uh, was a was a very. It's three good games, but it's only three games. Um, which is Creatures of Ava, Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy. So congratulations, we now have three. Activision Blizzard games and Game Pass. And Mafia Definitive Edition. Please be excited. I am Please not, be excited. I'm not excited, so. What okay. I, I need I'm I'm losing my He's mind excited. right now. Ken, you've sent me oh. you sent me down the path of me trying to find this game. What console was it for? I told you it was in Game Pass, it was on Xbox. Okay. All what right. Did that- like T apostrophe C H E game. No, that's Chia. the Chia. No. That's a, that's PlayStation, and then it came to Xbox later. Oh, uh, okay. This is a I much older like... game. This game has been out for probably at least five years, I think. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, a free Doom inspired mini quest is coming to Starfield Creations. So, in order to get you to play Starfield, they got to put Doom in it. <laughs> that wait back They're up. Also. That's... Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Well, what is it? A Doom mini? What is it? It says a Doom inspired mini quest. Oh, it's a quest. Oh, okay, I didn't hear. You're that. probably going to Mars. Probably. Okay. What were you saying, Ryan? I'm sorry. Uh, I was just gonna say I also saw that they're adding a um, uh, vehicle, like a rover vehicle. Yeah. I read that. To Starfield. Yeah. yeah the. I read um, that. It. Uh, well, you'll see how quickly the the you run out of shit to do when you can rove to quickly. each mission, yeah, and don't have to walk. You know they're gonna put a they're gonna put like a crab monster over there just so. Yep, at least one crab monster. Yeah, or the rover is gonna go like really really slow. It's gonna be like speed yeah, it doesn't. Or I something. mean the the clip I saw on Twitter looks like it goes pretty fast, which again right. means you're gonna you're gonna run out of shit to do with it real quick. That's so funny. It's not really. It's really messed it's up. It's not. Um, you can now exit the plane and walk around in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. To what end? I don't. I, right. I don't know. But like, what? there's no way it's the whole world, right? No way. No. Oh no. You, you. So sorry. They're letting you walk around. Yeah, you can get yeah. out of the plane and walk oh, around. Oh no. You know, I I know what's coming. No, don't do that. What's We're coming? We're all gonna go to Epstein Island again. Oh Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! I'm not. I'm not even kidding. There, do you know how many people were like just crashing their planes into Epstein Soul Island? I didn't realize people were doing that. That's oh yeah. Funny. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, according to a rumor, um, Microsoft has contracted Samsung 
to supply micro OLED display panels for a next generation mixed reality device. The product could be slated for 2026. Okay. They're remaking the Duke again. This time it's got more useless shit in it. Right. <laughs> I mean, they just re released uh, the 360 controller, but they already did the Duke. Didn't they already gonna... have a device? Like the HoloLens? Or yeah, the HoloLens team got shut down because that, that headset was like for commercial, or not commercial, but business use because it was like like thousands oh. of dollars or some shit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Monolith Soft is hiring for a new RPG directed by Tetsuya Takahashi. That's cool. Uh, PlayStation Quarter 1 Fiscal Year 24 report. PS4, PS5 hardware 2.4 million down from 3.3 million last year. Lifetime up to 61.7 million. Full game software, 53.6 million with 6 million first party. Monthly active users, 116 million. We have absolutely hit a saturation point with these new consoles. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, they're still 500 goddamn dollars. Well, yeah, we're still this deep into the generation making games for last gen. Yep. Because it's too goddamn expensive. I don't want to pay five hundred fucking dollars for that. That's the point. Like five hundred dollars is too expensive. There's no. There's no like. If you don't care about performance, like ninety five percent of the games can be played on PS4 slash Xbox One. Right. So, of course, these consoles aren't going to sell the way they last gen did. Uh, Sony detailed Bungie restructuring plan. Bungie will work on Destiny 2 and Marathon. Destiny 2 content will shrink in scale and other games. And Bungie back office stuff is moving under SIE. Sad. Yeah. The fall of a once great development studio. Speaking of games coming to last gen, Star Wars Jedi Survivor was announced for Xbox One and PS4 releasing September 17th. That game is going to run like shit on those consoles. Oh, 100%. Very curious right. how it's going to run. Cause... I'll let you know. Oh, he, you know he's going to he's gonna play it. Like, I told him I tried to give him a code so he could play it. Like, I mean, God listen, that game it. is fantastic. I love that game. Uh, yeah, it is going to run. It is going to fucking chug on those systems. I'm so excited. Either that or it's going to look like star wars on the game boy advance either way i i love this this is like this is where we get the good garbo <laughs> yeah the middle Games earth should not exist the middle earth yes. on the 360 kind of thing oh yeah yeah playing through that hey i, I, I played middle middle earth. Earth. Oh, i was just gonna say i played middle earth on uh 360 Oof. oh god that's like, where i played it wow i apologize okay. me too because yeah. No, I did not. Uh, I also played Wolfenstein on the 360. Oh, you get the fuck that out. That game actually looks really good on the 360 it, somehow. It, it does. completely fine. Yep. But, I mean, that's also four, four DVDs. <laughs> yep. Also, Better Tomb Raider... To, uh, was it Shadow... Led to whatever the second uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Rise Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider was like a technical masterpiece on the 360. That thing was amazing. I still don't know how they managed to pull off. I don't either. Yeah. Uh, Fall Guys is now available on Fortnite, so pff, whatever. Get your chocolate in my peanut butter. That's inappropriate. What? I mean, they, <laughs> they own both, so not a surprise. I just, I, I just like, your free-to-play game is in my free-to-play game. Like, what the fuck are we even doing now? Everything crosses over with everything anymore, man. It's all, it's all one big horseshit ecosystem. Dude, Fortnite's just everything. Yeah. Fortnite's got a racing game, it's got a Lego game, it's got fucking everything. Now it's got Fall Guys. Rock Band game. Yeah, it's got a Rock Band game. Ethan, it's Marvel. Which, by the way... Start Friday. I've been, playing, I've been playing a shitload of Rock Band lately. Man, I, I thought you was going to say you've been playing Fortnite. I was going to be like, what? Get the no. fuck out of here. No, I, like, I thought it was holding it. No, wow. I, I hate that game. I don't, I don't like that okay. game. That's um... But, like, I've been going through just, like, the career mode and playing a bunch of stuff, and I hit a song yesterday. I, kn I knew who this band was. I'd never heard them. But, like, I'd heard of them. So I was like, all right, I'll play this song. It's from a band called St. Vincent. She's great. That's just noise. 
<laughs> I didn't say. It. <laughs> what song was it? I don't fucking oh, remember. I I just remember like I'm playing it and I'm like, first off, the note chart is just awful. Like it's just <laughs> like it makes no sense like rhythm wise. Like it's just all over the place. And then like the the sounds that I'm playing on my guitar are just coming out going. Ah, ee, ah, oh, ah, ee. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Sounds like a donkey. She's very David Byrne esque. Like just, she can make pop music, but then she goes so and she, makes weird shit with Brian Eno or whatever. So she wears a giant suit, is what you're telling me? She, like four she, times she basically big. has, yes. <laughs> like I just like I was like, okay, like I don't, I don't get it, I don't get it. But whatever, it floats your boat. I was like, I will never play that song ever again. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, Descenders next was announced, so there's a new Descenders, which is like, it's got snowboarding and other sports in it now, besides just bikes. The game's a Feels cool like concept. Scope Creep. Yeah, I mean, that game's cool, but I just don't like the, like, random generation shit of it. It's just not my thing. Uh, Dead by Daylight uh, is getting a Castlevania crossover on August 27th. Yeah, apparently it's already on the, um, whatchamacallit, their, like, test thing, and I guess Dracula is a pretty OP killer, which is funny. He likes <laughs> just, to transform into I'm just, form. I'm just picturing, like, Carl, you know that picture of Carl as, as Alucard? Yes. I, I'm just picturing him chasing the survivors around in Dead by Daylight right now, and I'm like, I would play that game. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he just chases you like, I'm on the rocky body. And then the parentheses till the break of dawn. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh-huh. Uh, Quiet Place, The Road Ahead, launches October 17th. Uh, they announced Sunsoft is back. Retro game selection coming to the West on September 6th. Uh, I had no idea of those games. They're all very early Famicom games. They're also all wicked fucking hard. (laughs) Uh, Civilization 7 launches before March 31st, so mark your calendars. Mark your calendar for somewhere before that. (laughs) That's just what it says. Oh, what the fuck are we talking about? Vampire Survivors... Finally coming to PS4 and 5 on August 29th, which I swear to God, every time somebody says this, I'm like, it is now? Yeah, I can't believe it's not on the system already. Yeah, I could have sworn it was already on there. No, it's finally coming. October, at the end of of August, so. Uh, We talked about Avowed being delayed to February 18th. Um, Lollipop Chainsaw Repop release date moved to September 12th. In the West. I also noticed that this, like this and Shadows of the Dam coming back around the same time is cool. One of them is $20 more than the other one. <laughs> Which one is yeah. $20 more? Lollipop Chainsaw. Lollipop. And that's the one that doesn't have anybody actually connected with the original game. Right? Yeah. And it like. Yeah. And has and has its sexuality toned down as people are complaining as if like we had any interest in this game. Yeah. Like you motherfuckers didn't play it when it came out. So shut yeah. the fuck up. Right. Uh, also, Shadows of the Damned. I'm gonna put a hot take out there. It's a better game. Just saying. Mm, well, see, I don't remember Shadows of the Damned well enough to make that because I know I really liked Lollipop Chainsaw. I, man, I'm telling uh, you, Shadows of the Damned is a goddamn classic. Okay, I play. I'm gonna get it. I plan on getting it because I do. I definitely wanna. I do wanna replay it. Um, Final Fantasy Pixel. Yeah, okay. Uh, Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered Collection Anniversary Edition is getting another retail version on October 8th, 2024, exclusively. Not on Xbox. Was there uh, was there an end to that sentence? Because all yeah. I heard was you go oh, exclusively. Yeah. What? Not on Xbox. That's what I said. Oh. Okay. Oh God dang! Of course. You know course. it ain't coming. They don't care. Uh, all of your favorite people, Warner Brothers, Roblox, and Fandango, are teaming up to sell real-life movie tickets in Roblox. Okay. Why? <laughs> so you can sit in Roblox and watch a movie. Uh, no, I think they're selling uh, real-life, like you could go to the theater. Oh. 
Wha- Which makes even less sense than watching it in Roblox, right? I, right. I, I don't mean, think I either one of them makes sense, if I'm honest. No, they don't, but one makes a little more sense than the other. It's like, well, why would I buy a ticket yeah. in Roblox if I could just fucking go to the theater and buy a ticket? Right. Or pick up my phone on the Fandango app and buy a ticket. Why the fuck? Or just do, do what everybody it? does and wait until it's on streaming. It, and then there's that. I'm like, sorry. Yeah. What the fuck is Fandango? Like, like uh, what does yeah, that name know. mean? It's a dance. It's a oh. Latin ballroom dance. So that has to do with movies. The wrestler. What? The wrestler was Fandango. Fandango. Now he just goes by Dirty Dango, I think. <laughs> Dirty Dango. Um, God damn. I think you should just have left it called Voodoo, because Voodoo sounded easier to say. Right? Because I, you know what? Because I, my daughter was asking about watching um, the Batman animated series, uh, and I have it digitally, and I was like, "Oh, it's on the Voodoo thing." That's where I, re- I just learned that they, I guess, Fandango bought them, so now yes. it's all through the Fandango app. And I'm like, God dang it, but yeah. Why we gotta call it Fandango? I don't know. I wish they would let me merge that. The, my da- stuff the in Dango there with... stole my baby. <laughs> you wish you'd let it merge what? My the the video stuff in there with so I could use my like watch it on Xbox and everything. Like I have to watch all that stuff in the Fandango app. Oh, uh, just get a Movies Anywhere account and tie them all together. I think I have one. Then you need to tie all your services together now there are some studios that don't support it which fucking drives me crazy yeah i do i do have one because like paramount i think is one of the studios paramount and lionsgate are the two big ones that i can think of okay yeah because i think i had an issue with mission impossible yep mission impossible does not go across but a lot of movies do and that's what i do and i just watch everything in itunes because it's got the best bit rate i got you so uh, Suda interview with Gimatsu says if the remaster sells well enough and if it seems like people like enough people really want it then some sort of continuation of the series would be absolutely be something we would at least consider working on in the future that's in reference to Shadows of the Damned because he's not working on the Lollipop Chainsaw remake right? Nope. No nobody is. Yeah like, that's that, what I thought my point is like none of the original staff is working on so, like, you know, it's just somebody who has the rights that's making it. Well, you know what? That's the other thing that kind of not necessarily worries me about it, but I'd like to see it because they keep showing the trailer in the footage of, like, the fixed version of it where they took out all the blood and gore and stuff. But, like, apparently there is the normal version is on there. Like, what, can I see that? Like, I'd like to see what that looked like because that's what I want to play it as. I don't know. I don't know about this lollipop chainsaw repop thing. Yeah, especially since it's forty five dollars, I'm a little hesitant. Yeah. Uh Sega has trademarked Yakuza Wars. Uh which uh you know, Ryo Gagatoku said last month that they wanted to reveal their next game at the Tokyo Game Show in September, so it's probably that. Mm-hmm. Wonder what other big game reveals we'll get for TGS. I don't know. I think Gamescom is going to be bigger, though. Honestly, that's, that's where they've they've announced that they've actually had to cancel the Dragon Quest. <laughs> to <an after-point laughs> yeah, game. after after development took this long, we can't recoup the costs. Yeah. Oh, this was a fun story this week. A developer S game came out and said that quote nobody needs Xbox. Um, and then it was retracted, saying that this does not represent S games' values or culture. And that they want to bring the game to as many people as possible. This is for, what's the name of that game? Phantom, Phantom Blade Zero. Phantom Blade Zero, that's right. <sighs> yeah, it ended up being just like some... Uh, Random person. Low level, yeah, some low level dev or something that yeah. came out and said that. But it didn't uh, matter after it was said. Right, once it's out there. I mean, the toothpaste was out of the tube already, so... Yeah, can't get it back in. This is going to be the narrative. This is Microsoft's fault. Like, oh, I, I mean, absolutely, it is. Yeah, that's on them. One hundred percent. That's on them. You guys need to fix this. Like, this ain't on these developers. Like, these developers are like, I ain't going to make no money over there. So you need to, you need to make it so they can right. make money. Uh, well, I, they they certainly didn't help their 
their narrative with respect to uh, Japan by closing one of the only Japanese studios they have. Yeah, 100%. And they're raising the price, which we talked about last week. Yep. Which is fucking bananas. Like, why? I don't know, man. Yep. Microsoft's just, Silliness. Like, you got Call of Duty coming to Game Pass this year. That is a fucking layup, and I somehow they're going to fuck it up. <laughs> I just I just don't know. Wait, well, you know what's funny is um I think sometimes and, and this is why I think it's good um for us to, to, to broaden horizons and stuff. Uh especially folks that do podcasts or uh listen to podcasts, right? We're so like deep in our uh deep in the hobby, right? Um a, a good friend of mine uh who when we were growing up was a huge gamer, just as big a gamer as me, um, uh, owned a, a, a Sega Genesis, which I didn't have owned a Sega Saturn, which I didn't have. So, um, he and I played a lot of games together. Um, he and I actually took turns and finished Ocarina of time. Like he used to be pretty into games and, um, he has kind of gotten more casual as he's gotten older and, tends to buy a console, keep it for six, eight months, and then sell it or trade it in. And then, you know, two years later, decides he wants to play something, so he buys another console for six, eight months. Um, but he called me the other day and said, hey, I bought a, um, I bought an Xbox. And uh, two things stuck out to me about the conversation. Um, the first was that he didn't care what console he bought. No. Um, he was, he was, he wanted to play college football. That was the entire reason he bought a console. Yeah. And he said, you know, I, I could have bought a PlayStation five or an Xbox. I ended up just buying an Xbox. Uh, it, not even really any reason. Um, just that's the one he ended up buying. Um, so I mean, didn't, didn't care. And this is the one that's going to blow half the people I think listening to this podcast mind really had no idea what game pass was. No, no idea. Yeah, that's not um, that's not uncommon. I, I, yeah, I said, I said, well, did you get Game Pass Ultimate with the Xbox? And he's like, I don't really know what that is. I saw like a an insert in the console for it, but I I didn't know what it was, so I just kind of threw it aside. Uh, and so I was explaining to him, I'm like, well, you sign up for this subscription service, and you get access to all these games, and uh, you know, you can you play them whenever you want to, and. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds like a, a pretty good deal. Uh, but I just, like, it blew my mind for a second that, like, that's probably half of the people that end up buying these consoles. They're people who don't really know anything about gaming or the industry other than, hey, there's this game I want to play, so I need to have a console to play it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, like, I think those people kind of get lost in the shuffle sometimes when we're talking about, all of these mistakes that these different companies make um, in reality, probably 25 to 30% of their sales at least are guys like that, where it's like, I don't really care which console I get. I'm just going to get one that plays college football. And I don't really care about the subscription service or anything like that. I just, I just want to play college football and I know I can't play it unless I have this console. Yeah. And, and I think that's when, you know, when we first talked about series S coming out, we were all like, that's probably going to do really well for, for people yeah. like that, that like don't care. And they're like, Oh, well this one's three, you know, $200 cheaper and I can play the same games. Yep. But it didn't pan out that way, which is weird. No. Yeah, like, man. I don't, you can't, you can't predict these markets, man. They're crazy. But yeah, college football is a huge boon for console sales. I think both consoles are going to have a big month uh, from July from that, from that game. Uh, updates on some Remedy titles. Control 2 progressed to the production readiness stage. Max Payne 1 and 2 Remake has entered full production stage. And Alan Wake 2 did not yet generate royalties. <laughs> so it has not yet made money. Well, that Damn. Sucks. Yeah. That does suck. Wow. Um, I'm expecting an announcement at Gamescom, but it looks like NVIDIA added a game-ready profile for Final Fantasy 16 this week, so that's probably coming to PC soon. 
And then Ryan's favorite game, High on Life, is getting an animated series from none other than J.B. Smoove. Yeah, I heard they're going to get like Watch two that. episodes in, and then it's going to crash, and half the animated characters are going to fall through the floor. God dang it. <laughs> that game fucking sucks. I will never miss an opportunity to talk about how much that game sucks. I know, I love bringing it up. That's, every time somebody <laughs> mentions that game, I was like, You know oh, what the yeah. best part is? Is that you, like, you get to avoid having enjoyed a game <laughs> made by a creep. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's, I'm that's, very a, that's jealous. A side I have nothing benefit. to stand on. <laughs> <laughs> that's a side benefit. Um, but yeah, that that game was... I forgot he was with that company when that came old out. Old Wet Balls. <laughs> wow. What? All right, uh, a couple more little tidbits here. Uh, David Zaslav, everybody's favorite CEO, said they're looking at licensing out IP to other studios. We have eleven studios. I, here. Go ahead. I, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Let's say we have eleven studios here. And we have a lot of IP, and there's also a lot of interest coming, uh, interest among others in coming to take advantage of some of that IP for gaming, which we're looking at. I mean, listen, Zazlab, just do the right thing here. Sell all that shit off and spend the money on AEW because I'm getting oh. tired of there not being a TV deal announced. So, yeah, I thought you were going to say kill yourself because that's <laughs> also an no. option. <laughs> no, that is not what I was going to say. I just the um, we we we're past we're outside of the exclusive negotiating window now. So, um, I have a feeling we're going to get a TV announcement here soon, but. We'll see if it ends up on WB or not. Uh, also, according to the Financial Times, Warner Brothers Discovery is considering selling a stake in its video game business after a 70% stock decline since 2022. Huh, I wonder what game caused that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All I know is it's a game that y'all love. I didn't love it. Never did I use those I words. I just said the story was good. I didn't say that. Yeah, I didn't love it. I, like, I haven't played I, it since. Here's the best part. You, you could be talking about no. two different video games right now, and I'd both be like, okay, understandable. What's the second one? <laughs> what is the second one? I think What's Mortal Kombat one? is probably the second one he's thinking The first one's no, Suicide no, Squad. There's so many games. You know, what, which one are you guys talking about? Suicide, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. That's what I was thinking. I thought you were talking potentially about... That's what I thought originally, but then I was like, is it Gotham Knights? No, that, oh, that game, game did... That game did okay, but it didn't do great. Gotham Knights, Suicide Squad. <laughs> and then uh, the one that you could just mentioned. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal well, Kombat's made a shitload of money. Part. It's just yeah, yeah, okay. Was, well, great. Yeah, like that game made Critical money. Responses. Oh, absolutely. Like you take away the gameplay, and that game ain't got shit. Like that game plays amazing, but everything well, around it's got, it, it's it got sucks. something. It's got a place one for of these days, credit card. Yeah, one of these days that game is going to be super cheap, or it's going to be included in a bundle, and I'm going to buy it so I can play through the story. Yep, and they should have both stories by then because the expansion will be out. Oh, the expansion's still not out? Uh, September. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, Meta has shut down Ready at Dawn, which uh, is the team that created the Order 1886 and God of War Ghost of Sparta. Yeah, it's a real shame. Those those, uh, God of War PSP games were really good. They were, actually. They they were not bad. (laughs) Ready at Dawn was one of the studios I never understood why what they weren't bought by Sony to continue the franchises that they had already fucking worked on. Yeah. Oh, Sony owned them. I thought they mm-hmm. bought them when they did the order 18. I never played mm-hmm. that game. But no, I they, they never bought they them. Ever... Mm. And meta bought them. And then, yep. Yeah. And, and like they did, cause they did Daxter. They did yep. Daxter. They did chains of Olympus mm-hmm. uh, and ghost of Sparta. Yep. They did the Okami on the Wii, which was the first port. Um, and then they did the Order 1886 and just went fucking downhill from there. Ooh. But they shouldn't have been working on the Order. They should have been working on the next Jack and Daxter game or whatever. Uh, what, was the other, what was the other team? Jack and Daxter. The other team Sorry, was the was... one they bought, right? The ones that were make, that made Blue Point. That's it. Blue no, no, Blue Point's not the one I was thinking of. Um, give me a second here. I have to click through to find the... Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn. I don't know why that game just popped into my head. I don't either. 
High Impact was the other one that I was thinking of. Hmm. I don't know uh, them. They're defunct. Sony should have bought. Uh, you, you, they did Ratchet and Clank: Size Matters, Secret Agent Clank, Jack and Daxter: The Lost Frontier. Oh, okay. I mean, those yeah. games don't make money for them, so why would they? Uh, just, just uh, so GameStop we talked about last week shut down. Game Informer, uh, but the staff got out on the Twitter account and made a last words tweet, and then Game and GameStop nuked the Game Informer Twitter account. Yeah, fuck GameStop. Yep. Yeah, man, that's wild. Like I, I, I understand that the magazine business it's is dead. not the mag. Yeah, it's not the magazine business of twenty years ago, right? No. But you can. There's, there's a way to go about shutting something down, like Game Informer, and there's a way to not go about it. And they absolutely one hundred percent went about it the worst possible way. Hundred percent. But it's GameStop, you know. Fuck them. Yeah. yeah. No, my favorite. Uh, speaking of GameStop, because it's just we can get into the fuck them statement. We, I think we talked about it last week. I don't know, we talked. We talked about the um, the 360 store closing, and then they put out that fucking tweet. But y'all, y'all wish you bought physical. Oh yeah. Now. Yep. I thought um, that. How about you? A like carry physical copies because your fucking store is mostly Funko Pops. You fucking assholes. Uh, second, you, you, there's almost, for, you know, we just talked about how PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and I get it, Xbox One doesn't have as many physical discs, but, um, you know, they're, they're still selling, like, they, those consoles are still active, and those consoles are also backwards compatible. GameStop has barely any PlayStation 4 games. I can understand the Xbox, but, like, the PlayStation 4 has a ton of RPGs that don't offer people money for them, so they don't have a backlog of fucking used games um and then what they do have very small is usually usually shit it's like you i bought your xbox 360 discs for a dollar a piece we went through that a couple episodes ago or whatever like you know fuck off like you've been you've been doing more work to damage the physical market than help it um man like I, that's how i bought a ton of my collection uh ps2 isn't uh, selling anymore. Um, we're selling all the games for like fifty nine dollars or less. And I bought a bunch of for like I bought Drakengard. That's a fifty dollar game now for fucking maybe fifteen bucks. And I was like, I'm not sure if I want to spend this fifteen dollars, even though it's probably dropping a hundred dollars at the, at uh, EB Games. I don't know. It just pisses me off. They're a shitty company um, that don't know what the fuck they are. Um, and then saying that like. Man, like you're the reason why 360 discs went in the garbage. You know, uh, EB Games was awesome. I loved working for EB Games. It was EB Games GameStop's. here yeah. much later, even though it was oh. clearly GameStop by that point. Because yeah, they were, used to be what it used to be Electronics Boutique, Electronics Boutique. Sorry, Electronics Boutique. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what we worked for. Well. Yeah, we worked for Electronic yeah. Boutique, and then we worked for them when they got bought by GameStop. Like, I was there for that whole transition. Just like Software Etc. I got fired. I got fired for stealing time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. That motherfucker exactly. fired me for using... He didn't like me. Like, he was... It's a whole big story. He he was a, a manager from the last game company I worked with at Game Crazy, and we had beef back then, and I was his assistant manager at Electronics Boutique. And God, cause I think did Brian got transferred or something or something. I don't, I don't remember, but I got, I got moved and this nigga, like I, I used a personal day and I came, I came in the next day to open it and he's like, they're opening. And I'm like, Oh, what the hell? What are you doing here? He's like, Hey, uh, we're going to have to let you go. But yeah, totally. The reason was, uh, I said I was stealing time. How the fuck I steal time that is mine. What? <laughs> The, Stole that the, shit. the true company people at like GameStop and Electronics Boutique were just some of the worst human beings on the planet. Oh, oh I, God, they were. <laughs> I don't know if it's still a thing in the States, um, or if it was a thing back then, too, but the protection thing. Oh, yeah, protection plan. I know that oh, y'all yeah. get judged on it, so I, I tell people, what, like, I will not buy it, even if I want, unless I really need to protect the disc, which is rare, because I don't shop there anymore. But, like, um, 
yeah, I only do that if the person is helpful because I know it fucking weighs like they weigh that against the person. Oh, dude, they, like, every, there was whatever. something different all the time. But for a while, it was Game Doctors. Yeah, it was fucking Gamer Magazine. Oh, yep. I remember yep. the Game Doctors. God, those things yep. were shit too. At yep. uh, at um, uh, when I worked for Fye, uh, all the way until probably, I don't know. 2003 uh one of the things that we were tracked on that we could sell at the counter was blank cassette tapes <laughs> wow yeah there's always something they, they were always, always judging it's you always on something. Some, it's always some bullshit and yeah. and, and, it's, and it sucks and, because sorry no i was just gonna say like cd wipes and we we sold uh-huh. disc doctors as well um and all sorts of this little paste shit that you could put on a CD to yep, fix scratches. I and yeah, I remember. It'll fill in the scratches, and then it'll work fine. It oh, doesn't. my God. That shit never worked. We had to sell it, though. Uh, yep. I just, it, you know, and all those companies, um, Funko Land that I've heard of and stuff, like Electronics Boutique, it was all bought up by this GameStop company, and they've managed to basically kill the physical game market single-handedly. Yep. Yeah. It's not hard, well, and it it drove it the 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 world was already going away from physical stores, but I tell you what didn't make it easier was walking into a physical store and getting fucking accosted for sixteen things that you don't want and didn't come in there for. Mm-hmm. Like, thank you for calling like, GameStop what? where you can trade and save. Why don't you want to? Do you want to make any pre-orders today, or do you want to yeah, sign do... up for the? I'm making a fucking phone call. God right. damn it! Shut the fuck up and let me talk. Yeah, the uh, it's like, well, okay, it's much easier for me to order this online where I don't have somebody with puppy dog eyes asking me if I could please buy some disc wipes because otherwise they're going to lose their job. Yeah. <laughs> otherwise, the the uh, regional manager pu- pulls them out back and puts them down like Goliath. <laughs> Basically, oh yeah. my god, and it's so because you can always tell when the district manager is in the store, and you can oh, easily yeah. point them out because like the the person like runs through the whole fucking spiel, <laughs> like word for word. Oh yes. yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you like to add this onto your purchase because it'll do this for you and do this, and we also offer it. You're like, oh, okay. And they're boss, blinking in Morse here. code. <laughs> save <laughs> me. Like, save me. Oh, I'm so glad I got out. Oh, the God. Fuck that company. <clears throat> and fuck their stupid tweet. You're only alive because a bunch of crazy people built a cult around giving you money for stocks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, uh, retail. Early 2000s retail was... Late 90s, early 2000s retail was a whole fucking thing. Yes, yep. it was. All right, two more quick hits, then we'll do the tweets and the emails. Um, Another Crab's Treasure has sold over 500,000 copies across all platforms. Good for those guys. And in the same yeah. breath, Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess, has surpassed 500,000 players, which feels low. It does feel a little light for a relatively, uh, relatively pushed game. That's on Game Pass. Right. A little light. Well, the be- I mean, the difference that I see in that is that you have both games that were on Game Pass where one is touting that, hey, we've sold this amount of stuff. And I know it was on other things, too, which is great for them. And then you have the other that was on the same amount of systems that's on Game Pass and saying, hey, we have 500,000 people that have played. So they're not making money. That's that's a problem. That but this is was a problem. niche title anyway, right? Yeah, it like, was. Ooh, it was, but I mean, it, it also had a, it was a niche title that had a featured spot in a whole bunch of different showcases over the last year. True. That's true. It de- it did. You're right. So I guess they were hoping that it would turn into something new, but I guess people ain't even, you know, fucking with it. Like, I mean, they're right. I know I don't have, I don't probably... have a console for it, but oh, I didn't right. even remember this game. It. I didn't even remember this game existed. It's not bad. Like I, and it's funny. I, I see. Uh, it's not gonna help me remember it. P3, this is true. Um. Uh. Fucking. What's what's that nigga's name that runs Xbox? What's his name? I'm blanking. Phil Spencer. Phil, Phil Spencer. Spencer. Yes. <laughs> he was on. Thank you, God. I t-shirt I his gamer tag, but I couldn't think of his name. But uh, he was playing it like the same Captain guy. I'm like, he's actually further than me, Captain Hexen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, give a fuck a what game. Phil's it's playing. Not great. 
Well, I don't either. Not like that. I'm just saying that he actually is it was one of the five hundred thousand. Because I feel like those players are probably only from Game Pass. I'm just so saying that's... also he kinda has to because they have some marketing in it, so but people, does he have to though? People look at his gamer tag because he's a gamer. Mm. So, gamer. <laughs> Registered trademark. Yeah. You know. OC do not steal. <laughs> <laughs> Spending all his time playing games, not putting any Activision shit on Game Pass. For real, Man, though. That's, that's some fact Three right games. There. Three games. Three. He just spent 70-some billion dollars. They ain't put shit on there yet. We we are in August of 2024. That deal closed in November. We've got three games. What's the, what's the, what's the best movie in theaters right now? Deadpool. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, what, who who made the game for that? Who had the the publishing rights for that? Yeah. That's right. And they haven't talked to Disney at all, I'm sure, because it's just not. I mean, why would they talk to Disney? They didn't even talk to him about fixing Marvel versus Capcom. So fucking good lord, <sighs> Phil, 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 Phil. You had so much goodwill, and then what happened? You fucked up. Next to too many cars. <laughs> <laughs> like he put that rhyme in there. I was like, "Oh shit, he about to go bars!" And then I was, he about, I was about to start uh, beatboxing behind him. So <laughs> have I'm not like, a freestyle. Oh, so I apologize. <laughs> who, who who is gonna start breaking? Because oh, listen, at this point, I've seen enough of the Olympics to know we have a chance. You I know, mean, I saw that this morning. I didn't realize that there that was poor a break. lady has been. Olympics thing? She's been it's ruined on Reagan. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I somebody had like uh sent that on this web or Reddit. It was on Reddit. Um but yeah, it was a Twitter post and some chick in purple and I'm like, um this is really the we got an Olympic event for this? Did she win? I'm gonna be like, honest, I don't I know. Watched, but I watched more of it and it's like It's new what? this year, but listen, here's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> and she, it's the last she did time not it do might well. <laughs> she did not do well. No. But uh that there are it's like her and that dude that got second place in the shooting competition have have become the biggest celebrities out of this uh, Olympics. So <laughs> maybe at the end of the day, she kind of won. She was right. winning. Yep. Because uh, on the ladies' side of shooting, there it was the Korean girl that came in like second right. with all the fucking... She looked like she was from a Kojima ride. game. Yes, yeah. she looked like she was from a Kojima game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's the... Um, I think she was a uh, third place medalist, uh, the um, Chinese girl biting her medal. As she oh, looked at all other... that. Yeah, she was Two a Germans. silver medalist. Yeah, that she's was silver. Yeah, okay, picture. still yeah. second, another second place. Yeah, because <laughs> she saw <laughs> them looking at like biting their medals, biting their medals. I thought yeah, that I was, was like, I, okay. I think that's one of the most wholesome things I've ever seen yes. in my life. <laughs> there yeah, you go. I put it in the chat. Oh God, um, <laughs> is this the Kojima picture? Hold no, on. no, <laughs> no. This is yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is the. <laughs> She looks like she's she's trying to sneak in a Scooby Doo cartoon. One hundred percent. The funniest caption for that picture that I've seen is me when I smell a delicious pie on a window <laughs> 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 Oh That poor lady, though. It's, oh. I think she's gonna end up on Saturday Night Live. Like she's gonna definitely. Get, it's, 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 she's, she's gonna get bag. all sorts she's of stuff out bag. of it. Yeah, she she good. Oh, shit. All right, let's do some emails and a tweet and get out of here. Um, Jesus Christ. Curse sends an email says, Terrence said he hadn't played Marathon before, and you guys mentioned the Xbox version. For those who weren't aware, this has recently been ported and released on Steam for free, so people can go there if they don't have an Xbox and are interested in trying it out. There are two games now. They are now labeled Classic Marathon, Classic Marathon 2. Classic Marathon Infinity is labeled as coming soon, so it has not yet been released. A bit more context, but this hasn't been ported by Bungie, but it's rather a fan-led port that has Bungie's blessing to release. Yeah, that and the game is fine. It's uh, I mean, it's it's very much a first-person shooter of its era. Yes. Oh, yeah, um, okay. But uh, yeah, it's 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 fine. We were talking about some first-person shooters of that era the other day. The um, my my favorite uh, that's not you know one of the the big three or whatever is um, uh, Corridor Seven, oh, love that uh, game. which was an awesome, which was an awesome uh, corridor style shooter uh, in the the early nineties. Blake Stone, uh, Aliens of Gold. Oh yeah, 
12. Uh, okay. What was the, the fucking Chex game? Chex Quest. Uh, they actually yeah, ported Chex that Quest. to the... They That's ported it. the first one yeah. to the Switch recently, and it runs like ass. <laughs> I bet it does. Corridor 7 is 12 goddamn dollars. It's worth Corridor it. Corridor 7 is excellent. Yes. It's an but... excellent. If you like, if you like those, those shooters of that era, um, Corridor 7 is an excellent example. But here's a weird one. If you buy it in a bundle with uh, well, so I have one of them, so I'm not going to get the right price. God damn it. But anyways, you, it's much cheaper if you buy it in a bundle with Operation Body Count, Last Rites, and Killing Time. Killing Time is oh, getting a remaster, okay. baby. Yes, it is. I cannot wait. I love That game is so unique, and nobody played it because it was on the fucking 3DO. <sighs> they were making a PS1 version, too, but it never came out. <sighs> All right. Uh, tweet comes from Jeremy. He says, hey, gents, I'm still out here door dashing and beating the snot out of my Subaru. Uh, haven't played anything, but maybe 30 minutes of Baldur's Gate 3 for two weeks. What's the longest you've gone without gaming? Thanks for the show. Oh, man, that's a great question. Probably, was, probably a month I, or two. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't tell you how long, but it was probably right after my son was born was probably the longest stretch, but I couldn't tell you how long. Man, I can tell you the game I was playing when my wife went into labor. Oh, nice. Just Cause 2. <laughs> nice. I can I've tell you the game... more old. Oh, my God. Shut up, I Anthony. I can tell you the game I had just finished um, when my wife had our son, uh, which was uh, Red Dead Redemption, which I was pushing to finish because I knew she was about to give birth. And not like within days <laughs> but uh we were getting close to the end and i knew that i wasn't gonna have time to play it afterwards he's so. like ryan we need to go to the hospital you're like i'm on the last mission hold you're on you're gonna have to give me a minute uh, it, no. that's what happened with my second i i was playing um no it wasn't the second it was alexis it was the last one i was playing black ops 2 in a multiplayer match with my friend on a headset and she comes down the steps we gotta go to the hospital. I'm like, oh shit, mid match. I, I gotta go. <laughs> Drop stuff down. Don't. To we can't go right now. You're gonna ruin my rating. Listen, yeah. I, I probably was on the way to a kill sheet because I was good at that one at Black Black Ops Two. But yeah, but I think mine's probably like a month. I think I. Yeah, I don't think I've been playing games. I don't think I've been more than a month, most likely. That's it. That's all I got. Anthony, you want to put in your 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 fart chair advertiser? Oh, I thought. Why oh, you still got one? I don't know. I don't fucking. I don't remember. I'm not. I've, listen, no, I, I didn't get a fucking chair. I, I'm just you helping you out. Oh, all right. He's just he's just trying to assist. Get you a get you a new chair. Get you one of eat win chairs. Yeah. Hold on. I, I'm grabbing oh, the mic. Ass. Hold on. Literally. All right. Look, if you're still listening to this and you haven't bought a chair. At least fucking shower and like Febreze your old chair. <laughs> I shouldn't have to tell you this, but apparently, like, that is not a known thing because all the videos I've watched on YouTube are like, why don't you shave your balls and stuff like that? What so, the like, I don't, all I'm saying is maybe a little what bit of happening? fucking cleaning your ass will make you not be gross anymore. There, could, done. Wait, well, you know, we're not a, you know, we're not a, um, a yeah, successful podcast. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got yeah, a manscape we, sponsorship. Yeah, we I, 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 hold on, are we, hold on now. No, I'm going to argue we are a successful podcast because we haven't stooped to levels of telling people to shave their balls. <laughs> but I mean, you just did. <laughs> you just Look, did. I'm saying you should. I sh no one should have to tell you that, especially not a goddamn advertisement. <laughs> Clean yourself. I mean, that's true. That's true. <laughs> oh god damn it! That's, that's fucking true. hilarious. <laughs> Like, I need you, if you're like, that certainly can't be me, I want you to look at, like, post-Magic the Gathering tournament, and look oh at the goddamn God. chairs and stuff like that. All those people think it's not them either. Fucking take a shower. Buy a new chair. Do stuff, I don't know, be clean. God and, damn it. And use my code, ZTGD, for 20% off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... Oh, oh. Oh, Those God, Manscaped yeah. ads really piss me off. They're like, ah, oh, the ball trimmer. Like, I get it. I, like, 
It's it's got, got, you could go down to the store and buy one that just doesn't say "for your balls" written on it. <laughs> just don't just don't use it for anything wow. else. Just... Like, I just yeah, I don't don't use it for anything else. But like Jesus Christ, Neither. like ah yes, the hedge trimmer. That's I think that's what it's actually called. Too, it the hedge is. Trimmer. It's and called the hedge trimmer. They give yeah. it they give it like different numbers, like four It still shaves your balls. I hate to tell you this, the advancements aren't all that great. Fuck it. Good lord. Now be careful. They're like, don't hit. They're, they're, they're like, hey guys, percent more efficient. They're like, hey guys, there's a flashlight on this. First of all, what, what the fuck? You don't just use, you don't just use a Bowie knife to do yours. What? Yeah, like, like, are you doing it in the dark? Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and then, and then these fucking assholes have the fucking nerve to be like, here's ball deodorant. Like, I'm gonna, see a doctor. If you are going for a shower and cleaning yourself regularly and there's still problems, you don't need ball deodorant. You need a doctor. All right. Good <laughs> Lord. I never knew. I never knew that uh, Anthony had such strong feelings about. <laughs> I fucking, uh, you, you know how this all started? This all Prop started manicuring. with <laughs> this started with Dollar Shave Club, and like there was a bunch of other ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and some asshole was like, "Whoa, that market's been tapped." You know, you what know what else people might, shave? You know what else people shave? It's exactly what they thought, and they're like, "We're going for the ball market." <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, do you still title these episodes, Ken? I do. I put a title in I, every. I, I think maybe we're going for the ball market in the title. That's, of this. A, that's a really good title. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was initially going to use. I was initially going to use "May Biggest Dream is Stay Young Forever," but you know, I think that's yeah, what no, I think we're going for the uh, ball market. I think we're going for the ball market. We're going it? for the ball market. All right, we got <laughs> it. We go. We're good. Anytime. I think I think that should be a turn of phrase uh, to describe when people are going for the, like fucking when, uh, when people add sponsorships. Oh, they're going for the ball market. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody that listens to this has got hairy, stinky balls. Let's go. Jesus Christ! Oh, he's got a logo. It's on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Got that Christ logo on, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it sucks. Like that could have been the title. We could have had the 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 poorly trans. But man, man, very rarely do you get an episode with that many good titles. That's Damn true. Oh. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh my God! All right, I'm yeah. about to die. Anyways, um, if you'd like to tweet at us, it's at CTGD Radio <laughs> on Twitter. If you'd like to tweet at us, don't. <laughs> Make sure you shave your balls first. Um, if you want to send us an email, it's podcast at ztgd.com. Whew. Uh, I don't have anything. Else. I got oh, nothing. Also, you shave your perineum. Oh, Please Jesus don't. Christ. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Need one of those disclaimers. You know, Anthony's opinions do not share that of whatever. Yeah. <laughs> You just go at it in the dark. Oh, <laughs> we have really lost the plot now. I mean, he, I think he's broken. I think we broke him. <laughs> Are you more of a devil mirror maneuver guy? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be okay, everybody. It's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, if nobody has anything else, we can we can get out of here. These for, for your balls, bitches. All righty, and it goes something like this.